King Nesta. Thank you very much for your sub. <laughs> that was our fifth sub. Um, goal has been met. Uh, loaf belongs to the chat now. I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy that. Um, he sleeps no more than four hours at a time. So I hope you come up with some sleep rotations. That might be, uh, that would be best. I'll send you home with a box of his food and we just got a bag of his dry food. So you can do like a half and half mix. So that's good. He eats three times a day. He normally takes three to four naps a day because he is a puppy still growing. Um, I'll include everything in the, in the box. So don't even worry. Like, don't even worry. McQueeb. Hello. Is that you? I'm here. You did say eight o'clock and I was like, nah, 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 get started at six. And you're like, you've been running late lately. You might want to change the time to well, 8 now p.m. I know. So, um, once on. again, I was wrong. Do you, do you want me to repeat that? Did you hear me? She's probably getting out the tape recorder right now. Where'd she go? Do we not have music? What about now? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Hello. The music stopped for some reason. It did. Thank you, iTunes. Dang. It's all right. I'll fix it. It probably signed me out. It's like, no, I don't know who you are today. Um, you are who? I'm sorry. Who? Okay, so let's close out of Twitch on the phone. We'll leave Discord on the phone. We'll close out of the Discord call on the laptop, and then we have the uh... hey, seventeen fifty one. Um, odd yeah, number gang. You, Let's go. While while you were gone, I sold loaf to chat for five subs. Oh shit! I would have given subs away just to help with that. <laughs> uh, yeah so sorry um he belongs with them i i told them all about his sleep schedule and his food schedule and i'm gonna pack everything up and we're just gonna bundle it up and oh you know uh, someone can come by and pick him up you know if you want to do it like in the next couple hours that'd be great round number <laughs> gang crushes the competition <laughs> <laughs> King Nesta, great to see you, dude. Thank you very much for the resub. Uh, Monkey Lawn Gnome with two lots of bits. Am I going to try mm -hmm. Tainted Grail? You are not the first person to ask me that. It's a it's a deck builder at heart, right? I don't know, man. I hear these these words, and I'm like, uh, yeah. Huh? Oh wait, yeah, it's is hang on. This is is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah. Sure, it's a, it's a deck builder. So a deck builder is like a, a deck of cards. Imagine so it's tarot. A card game. Yeah, imagine ta uh, tarot cards, but each one of them had like an action or a, a spell, and then you'd you'd play it down based on a certain restrictive element that you know would eventually recharge and, and that kind of thing. Do you remember that that game I was playing, uh, fights in tight spaces, the, with the yes. it was like black and white and mm -hmm. like fighting. It was kind of like that, but this one's set in. Looks like medieval times or, or uh, fantasy setting. It's got dragons. Or, sorry, it's got worms. Tainted Grail. Let's see if I can get a key for it. I was able to give that dude his gift card. Oh, yes. Okay, good, good, good. 48 hours. So it takes 48 hours. Yeah. Okay. Power wash simulator. 
<gasps> um, I no, no, because I want the real thing. I want a power washer, and I just want to go door to door and power wash people's driveways. I don't want them to pay me. I want to do it. So, so like, like, if I do it, I for... just put a, put in a request for it. <laughs> Published like, by Square I... Enix. What the fuck? It looks like an indie <laughs> game. <laughs> What that that is a good question. What would be a job that you would you would do even without pay? Let, like all of all of you. Let's say that I'm doing all of your bills are paid. Stop. No, all legit. Of your bills are, I'm doing let it. Let me finish. Let me finish. All of your bills are paid. You do not have to go to work, and unless you want like like superfluous money, is streaming the job. Yeah. Well, not just streaming, but like influencer or content creation. I think I think that would be great. I think I could bring good good things to a lot of people. Okay, because I I would do power washing. That would be me. <laughs> uh, what what was the game? What did he say? Uh, King Nesta said Tainted Grail. A lot of people are asking for this, so I'm gonna... I'll put it in. Why do I... Is it just me, or is Steam just a very weird website? The... Steam Steam? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, it is kind of... Okay. okay. It is kind so of jank. The... Yeah. Because whenever I go to the site, I have to, without fail, even if it's in the same browser, it's always on the same computer. I have to request a new password because my old password is incorrect every time. You know, my thoughts every on this. Time. I know it's my problem. It's not them. It's on me. I know how you think. You don't have to bring it up. I got it. I got it. Ayo, Beast Tunnel. How you doing, girl? You, you know, doing okay? You know, Beast Hunter is one of our OG. Yeah, like twenty three months, right? Like he's he's up. He's yeah, one of the one of the. I think the only person with more would be Jermaine. He's at like twenty six. He he's he subbed to me before I or like even started streaming or something. I don't even have a sub that long. Like fuck. Did you man. guys hear the story about Ms. Queeb and and us trying to get? So as a Twitch partner, you get a couple of accounts you can gift subs to their lifetime tier threes right um so like my bot gets one that's why you'll see the little beard next to my bot i don't i don't pay extra for that it's just included and i can give you know a couple out to i don't know let's say we had i don't know whatever a mod for example if if they were if that was their thing so i gave i wanted to give one to miss queeb but everybody kept gifting miss queeb a sub and you the only way to do it is through partner support. You have to create a ticket for it. And you cannot currently be subbed to anyone. Like, like you can't have a sub to get the sub. You have to be completely like subless. Yeah, they can't, they can't, uh, they can't override that, right? Whatever payment system and the time involved in a sub expiring, that has to, that has to happen first. Somebody gave six, was it six months? <laughs> It, no, it was it was like it three, was one three month months. and one month and then two rounds of three months. Right. Yeah. For, for no Which, reason. It, <laughs> and so you like we literally had this moment where you were about to go on and I had just gotten the alert that my time was up and I'm like, okay, time is up. And you're like, okay, this is what we'll do. I was I'll streaming do this at the on time. My next break. Like you were literally about to go on and within ten minutes you got the the ding that that said that i got the sub and instead of being like happy that you got a sub you're like oh great thanks i, I was I, that was a fucked moment actually i was really pissed off <laughs> like someone gifted a sub out of the goodness of their heart and because they wanted to see miss queeb sub but we hadn't explained what we were trying to do yeah they just thought that you know i didn't support my husband or, or that we were so poor that we didn't afford to pay for a sub for me i mean and it, look it's very it's very sweet it was very... it was i felt like a dick afterwards i was like <laughs> that did. that came off completely wrong <laughs> um it was a funny moment scott kaboom 
Scoot Kaboom and the Tomb of Doom. Scoot Scoot Kaboom Boom. Platformer. Beast. Looks like a no, I so Come after on. that ended, we literally set a timer and we uh literally as soon as I got the email, he stopped what he was doing. I think he was streaming at the time. He stopped what he was doing. He went over he I raised like, the ticket straight away chicken. without saying a word to chat. Yeah, like like it was instant. Um but like we're talking I had a timer for a while in my phone. <laughs> it was just it was ridiculous. And and there was a couple of times when <gasps> You was gonna you were I, gonna give a year? Don't make me slap you, boy. <laughs> I I just realized I just realized something. I I do have an alt that is following you. I wonder if that alt has a sub right now for from all the gifted don't subs. Don't tell anybody the name. I'm not. I'm not. I'm I'm going to quietly log in. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Tell me. You're a good dude, Beast. Thank you, man. Let me see. Is that it? Okay, how do I... Almost two years. So next... Ne yeah, next month would be two years exactly. Uh, oh, please. What was the... Like, obviously, I was playing Minecraft. Was I on a solo... Okay, I was solo I am, hardcore I back then, I think. I am not subbed on my alt. You're not? I am not. I have I have not Have been you ever sub. visited the channel? Yeah, I have over I have almost 5000 bits. 5000 or 5000 um, or, or things, points, channel right. things, yeah. So that's that's weird. It So obviously mm -hmm. a lot of a lot I mean, you know, I, I don't expect follows or or subs or whatever, but I think there might be a few people that <laughs> pop in occasionally. Um, and I think they're prioritized when it comes to giving out gift subs. I, I don't know the, the mathematics behind the scenes, but it's, from what I can tell, it's like your regulars who are following come first Ooh. and then it's, um, yeah. Lockeyed. Lockeyed's a good, good dude. I, uh, yeah, I miss him too. He was, he was a good guy. Um, with you forget who so it was multiplayer then that would have been either friend of mine from work um dreaded cheese or dreaded um, cheese? Amelia oh or what a name it's great. It's a great name, right? It's like shredded it, it, cheese, but shredded cheese. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get that. Zephyr Thank, Thank, Thank you, man. Um, Thank you. And then, of course, there was the person who we're not going to be talking about tonight. Wait, who all are... What, I don't understand what, why you're mentioning these people. Just going back in in Minecraft history, I really wish. Oh, okay. So when when you're an affiliate, I think you get your your vod stay for about 15 days, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's like half a month. Um, when you're a partner, they stay for 60, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm I'm really sad that I didn't keep all of like I didn't I wasn't recording locally back then. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm really sad that I didn't because th there was, there's a lot of good, good moments back then. Um, yeah. And then, then came the moment when I had to delete all my, well, I didn't have to, but I was playing like some generic, uh, playlists of music. Um, and, and even though I'm not really at fault, like, you know. Hey, McQueef, do I have a half petabyte NAS? I wish I did. That would be fucking dope. Um, no, so how it works, I've got... Um, I've got my primary SSD, which is a Gen 4... Um, what's it called? Uh, M.2. 
Then I've got a two terabyte Gen 3 as my storage. Um, sort of working storage, I guess. Uh, and that... Uh, I've replicated that on Google Drive, which I've stopped at the moment because um, obviously I can't really upload whilst streaming for 500 and what are we up to now? 560 hours uh, at the moment-ish. Um, that's replicated. So if I did have an editor at one stage um, and they would have access to that so they could download you know, whatever and look for, look for, I, I, I'm still, I still need another editor. Um, cause my, my YouTube's gone down the toilet. Well, not really. I'm not putting any effort into that at all whilst this is going on. Um, my TikTok is, is, is very rough as well. I recorded one just before I went to bed this morning. Um, But I really want to get, I want to get back into that because I, I miss, especially TikTok, I miss making those. They're so fun to make and they're, mm -hmm. they're quick and they're easy and you can just one and done and it's out the door. Um, I wish you could edit them though, especially the text. Cause if you fuck up text, it's, it's published, it's done, it's locked in. There's nothing you can do about it. So I've, I've deleted entire TikToks just because of one spelling mistake, because that's, that's who I am. Um, yeah. Oh no, hi. We are talking miscellaneous bullshit, as always. I mean, that's kind of what we do. Oh, what? You're saying we are, we're random people? We are, we are absolutely the, the most random. Incredibly true, isn't it? It absolutely is. I don't know about that scoot kaboom. King Nesta, what what uh, what's the story there? Um, it it looks interesting, but I don't understand the premise. I can't really listen to the trailer right now. Goose goose. Duck. Somebody asked me about that as well. It's kind of like the next, um, the next, uh, Among Us. It's, it's probably not my thing, Beast. I, you know me, I, I rarely play, uh, I rarely play, um, multi, multiplayer games on stream. As of September 2020, 18 terabyte NAS drives. You might want a raid array. You absolutely would want a raid array. Um, yeah, I mean that's obviously that's nothing personal, dude. I love you. You're amazing, but yeah, no, it's it's probably not not for me. This this whole Final Fantasy kick that I'm on at the moment is so rare. Like I never um, expected to even jump into them on stream, except for ten. Ten I would have I would have done, but this is. Um, this is just weird. I'm not a Final Fantasy streamer, obviously, but I've, I've enjoyed my time thus far. Uh, Malarthy, I definitely do need to sort out... Um, some kind of more permanent storage solution. The only thing I have is a 12, uh, 12 terabyte, uh, 5,400 USB three kind of thing. It's, it's, it's basic, but it, it works. It's a less, less drive. Pretty good. Does Keezus have a sub to here? Let's have a look. Uh, it looks like he does. Yep. Yep, he does. I haven't popped in on his stream in a while. wonder how he's doing. 
our um our our sort of friend group is is going our separate ways not because of you know nothing's bad is going on but um Kesis is doing his own thing right now and he's entrenched in work as well uh buddy of mine is moving to seattle to take up a job up there um and another buddy of mine is uh moving to georgia but that's uh, the the Kesis and and the Georgia guy, they're the two that really pushed me to to start streaming. And I've got um, I want to thank them for everything. Hasn't streamed in a month. Okay. He I the last time I did speak to him, he said he was getting burnt out on um, hosting games for what's the what's the fighting game he plays. With all the Pokemon characters and Nintendo stuff. Anyway, that that one. And uh, he he was getting sort of frustrated with you know hosting games, Smash. Yes, thank you. Uh, hosting games for other people, and it's like people were really demanding, and it it's yeah, it's a bit it's a bit sad. I'll I'll hit him up. I haven't spoken to him in a in a good month or so. Miss Queeb, are you there? What are you what are you doing right now? I'm eating sour Skittles. Sour Skittles. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had warheads? Are warheads a thing in the States? They are. They're not as popular. Um <laughs> I could only have like maybe one at most. Two if I like if I didn't really care how my stomach felt later on. But yeah. There, I, I get it, right? There's the hot ones and then there's the sour ones. And mm -hmm. like, it's, it's a novelty. Okay. But the sour is like, turn your fucking face inside out sour. And mm -hmm. then the hot yeah. ones are, are more of a pepper hot. Oh, um, like the atomic fireballs. Yes, yeah, and uh, I don't know. You'd, you'd have you'd you'd get them, and and you'd have like I I like the sour ones because after the sour had gone, they tasted the candy inside was good. Mm -hmm. Um, but Jesus Christ, that that sour was fucked. My um, <clears throat> like I think I've told no, I think you have told the story here. But I haven't. Um, I love Red Hots. Like, like Red Hots are so fucking good. But I'm only allowed, like me, I allow myself only to have like a, a couple at a time. Because when I first discovered that I actually liked them, I ate an in, like, like most of an entire box of Red Hots. And the cinnamon oil burned mm. my tongue so badly that I had no sense of taste or smell for like almost a week. Okay. But they're so good. It was worth it. It was so worth it. <laughs> uh, Malarthy says, McQueeb, you have been redeemed. Atomic fireballs. Uh, Corona says I had one, uh, I had each of the sour flavors in my mouth at once as a kid since I was curious, but let's say it was a terrible idea. Warheads are like, if you, if you have three, your tongue is fucked. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yep. yeah. But I, I get the same thing. So there's these candies that I get from, let me see if I can link them. Amazon. Uh, go back through my history here. Orders. We do buy a lot of stuff off Amazon. Yes, we do. It, it's our quirk. It's what we do. I don't think we're alone in that. I think it's... Here we go. So these are the things I get and don't don't 
be too shocked at the price because they're imports but so they're they're like the do we still have a, a bag of the lemon candies or gone through both of those you have gone through both i was going to get some more when i go to the market Big surprise. Uh, tomorrow or the next you you will eat well no 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 wait 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 you open the bag you left it on the counter i decanted the bag into a baggie and i think that's still in there unless you have grabbed the baggie no, and ate that's those. gone that's gone quiblet i oh, know i'm sorry <laughs> I've seen those ten pound gummy bears. They're like I don't I don't like gummy bears. And so just a regular gummy bear, I'm I'm not a fan of. The ten pound, it kind of like I kind of do the Samuel L. Jackson eye thing, like in the gif where he just stares. Like that's what I do when I see them. They're very weird. My life, I buy nothing off Amazon. My goal is for us to eventually move off of Amazon. Um, I think that might be easier once the pandemic is kind of over with. Um, but right now, our grocery stores have been a little bit too inconsistent. So there are things that I do have to buy on Amazon. If I bought them anywhere else, they would be extremely expensive. So, but yeah, like... Daddy Bezos, not a good person. The James Adamson, thank you so much for your raid. Psychomantis, the one pound Reese. Oh, I have I seen those? Yeah, what's up, James Addison? Welcome on in, dude. Thank you very much for the raid. Very kind of you, my man. I think my favorite candy are the apple heads. Apple heads. Like they 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 are they are some good shit. They are some good shit. Um Yeah, like I'm I'm not a I'm not really into chocolate. I I I have candy around the house, but it's it's literally to keep me from killing people. It's not my favorite. It's just like I'm I am consuming this so no one dies. And I do have to say, like, I think my favorite would have to be the apple heads. Number two would be the sour neko wafers. But they don't make those anymore. And they they're don't make good. Them. You introduced me to those. They're they're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're fucking baller. They don't make them anymore because the factory closed, which means you can't get the regular neko wafers anymore. That's a thing. <clears throat> They got rid of my chicks, ducks, and bunnies. They don't make conversation hearts anymore because the sour conversation hearts were fucking baller. So now I'm at the point where if I like something, maybe I shouldn't even tell you guys that I like the apple heads because then they'll stop making them. But I just, like, it, they're just like, they're so good. You like go into like a little crappy convenience store and they have like a little box of them for like 50 cents. They're perfect. With the perfect amount. You can't binge on them. I mean, you could. I have. Right now, we have three jars of candy. Like, medium-sized jars. We have a tiny little apothecary bottle of Red Hots. Another one of the Coca-Cola Tic Tacs that Queeb used to be hot on for a while. The Tic Tacs? Uh-huh. Something about uh, aftertaste with that. Slack, thank you so much for joining us. That's so nice of you. Come on in. Hang out. Take your shoes off. So what I'm doing is I'm going through um, Twitch VODs and I'm going to highlight segments, right? So I'm going to try to get them in 12 hour blocks. If I stream longer than that, I'll have to split them into two. But this way, 
um, I can download the highlight instead of having to remux and then recompile and split and, and do all of that sort of thing. I can do it all from Twitch. Mm -hmm. The only problem is I've deleted now three VODs that um, I was worried about because of Final Fantasy music, mainly opening and closing themes. Um, is it not, is it bad? Like you're not supposed to have it? I don't want to take the risk. There was, there's DMCA's rearing its head again on Twitch, so I don't want to get fucked by that. Um, obviously. Obviously. See, already my first stream was 12, uh, 13, 15, 15 hours. So I'm going to have to go like eight and something else. Jesus. Carne asada chimmy? Like, like a chimichanga? Because that sounds good. Oh, that's good. Oh. My first dream we're was 15 and a half hours. Yeah, okay. So we'll go... Uh, so we were talking about this yesterday, me and chat. I I miss Tex-Mex. I miss it so bad. I miss Cali-Mex too, babe. Stop! You have, you have a Cali-Mex restaurant literally down the street. You've never been to it. Cali Max for life. Uh, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope. So Slackto, what's like... up, dude? Thanks for the raid. Welcome in. It looks like the oh, that's not terrible. The um the nearest chain Tex Mex restaurant that I know of is in Downey. Yes. Too much personal information, Ms. Queeb. No, it's not. Saying it, we're in LA is okay, because LA is okay. fucking massive. LA is fucking massive. Terrible. That's like, for whatever, <coughs> pardon me, for whatever reason, I think, oh, they, uh, they do have okay so they still have one in the valley in glendale so that's the one i've been to before um it's not bad it's like we don't have on the borders out here well wait that's a lie i think we do they're just not near us oh my god like look i know it's not amazing food but it's tex-mex just like leave me alone that place you took me to was... Remember that? We've been to a few places. There was a that barbecue place. I can't remember the name of it. I cannot remember. I don't even remember if it was... Like, where it was. It was really like good. They had a bunch of different styles. Like, different sauces and, and stuff that I'd never experienced before. Um, I thought that was dope. I don't remember. The nearest on the border... Jesus Christ. It's like... It's, it's like on the way to San Bernardino. Like it's out there. And oh, no, no, I can't because that would be gross. I was going to say like, I have to, I'll have like in a few weeks, I'll have to drive to go get the kids. Oh, the snakes, the new babies. Cause it's like, it's out in that area. It's like, oh, I could drive out there and, like, on the way back, I could stop and, and bring some home. It would do. Like, Miss Quib, you need to fucking just shut up, please. <laughs> like, it's Pe not, is it? Stop. People, people love you. <laughs> and if they don't, they can fuck off. <laughs> but no, like, it's just this. It, like, people hear, oh, you're in LA. It's like, there's so, there's so much great food out there. It's like, is there though there's not like not where we are we're and this was something we talked about before too 
we're not in like a major like food area like downtown or Koreatown or Hollywood or Santa Monica. Like we're not near any of those places. I think I think we need to to branch out whenever we talk about food. Like like tonight, for example, we were going to order Thai food, which I mm -hmm. still think we should do. If not, let's go for the pizza that we couldn't get last night. I would say let's go for pizza because if I get Thai food, you know me, I'm not going to eat the Thai food. I'm just going to get the house rice and I can just make rice on my own. Right. And I don't have to pay $12 for it and have it just be kind of mediocre. Yeah, that's cool. So so same order we yeah. tried to do last night, which is uh, okay. for me the same pizza this, as last time. Well, hold on. I want to see if it's, hot this it's time. still saved. So hold on. And then the, the cinnamon sticks, they, which I will be eating the fuck out of tonight. They cleared out my cart. Fuck you. First of all, you, you sit there and you make me go through the whole order process. You let me turn in my order. Then you wait just before. And here, here's what it was. Here's exactly what happened. Because I used to work for a pizza place. I know how they think. They saw my order. And they saw what time it was. And they're like. It's not a say it's not a conspiracy theory, babe. It, no, this is not a conspiracy theory. They saw what time it was. They saw my order and they said, "You know what? Like I don't we're not I don't have any drivers. I don't want to send anybody out whatever. We're going to refuse the order." So they refused the order. They said, "Oh, there's a problem with payment." When I went back to try to do it, they're like, "Oh, we're sorry. The restaurant closed an hour ago." Oh my god. Like I get it. I know stop. how these places work. No, I will never stop. Anytime I have some kind of like little quote, what Queeb calls conspiracy theory moment, it, according to you, it's always a quote conspiracy theory and I'm always making too much of it. That's always the case with you. And that's not so. I'm speaking based on my personal knowledge of the business. No, not this particular restaurant, this franchise of that restaurant chain in general, but like... I have known of restaurants and particular pizza places that do this. So I love you, but you need to back the fuck up. <laughs> For real. A coupon, I know a coupon is no longer available. I don't even know what coupon it is. So yeah, we don't, we don't get mailers gonna, from get mailers use. for everything else. Just not fast food. Well, no, we do. I, I trash all the mailers, the, oh, okay. the, I don't want them in the house. We'll get rid of the blue cheese. We'll get rid of the chicken. Yes, remove it. You don't want your chicken? No, like I, st <laughs> I still have some in there. And if I, I cannot order the chicken and the pizza without having another $79 order. Ah, yeah, that was a problem. Yeah. So I'm doing my best to bring down the, the price of the order. Do I have any points to spend? Show me, show me my points. Oh. We got a thousand points. Some we can order like well, twenty no, we, pizzas. We only have two hundred eighty-nine because they recycle the points. The points don't last for very long. We had up to like eight hundred some odd points, but because we went almost a year without ordering pizza from them, mm -hmm. they all expired. Got it. Um, I'm actually going to use this. Oh. <gasps> I am going to use my 200 points to cash in for a medium to top pizza because basically that's what I was going to get anyway. I'm going to get my hand tossed. Hand pizza and hand tossed. <laughs> Extra sauce. Light cheese. Garlic butter. Please. Well done. Please, sir. And or madam. Continue to toppings. Ooh, they're out of stock on bacon. What the fuck? I guess that um, pork shortage is kicking in. Wish there was a pork shortage this morning. Holy mackerel, that smell. That's, the smell woke me up. It did not. Legit, it did. Whatever you, that was, it was vile. Pregon you and your pregante nose need to I have a very, out. look at the, look at this profile. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a this is a very it, serious nose, and it has a very serious smelling power. It's beautiful. I'll be right back.
<laughs> Alright, let's see. We're gonna do red onions because that's my thing, bitch. I think we're just gonna do another vegetable. Yeah, no meat. We're gonna do veggie. <laughs> um, do I go mushroom and onion or do I go onion and green pepper? Mushroom. Get all three. Why not? Oh, let's see how much they're going to charge me. Because I'm only supposed to get two toppings on this. So let's see. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Oh, they charged me one seventy five for the for your mushrooms. That's fine. That's fine, girl. That's fine. Um, okay. So I have the baked cinnamon sticks with the icing. I have your pizza, which is the large, thin, and crispy marinara, regular cheese, hot favorite crust, pepperoni, chicken, green bell peppers, Mediterranean olives. Why? Who cares? Mediterranean olives. Uh tomatoes and jalapeno peppers and then mine does that sound good yeah fantastic i'm looking to check out it is 8 44 there's no conceivable oh did you get way. the cinnamon sticks that was the first thing i mentioned girl okay that was the first thing i mentioned i don't know you that's my purse um uh, 28 characters. Uh... Yes. Leave my order at the door, motherfucker. Tell you a little about myself. Can they not knock on the door? They can and they will, but I... I, I don't want to put on eyebrows for people. I don't want to feel don't compelled have to, to put on it. I don't want to feel compelled. I know I don't have to. Okay. Believe me. Okay. Believe me, I'm a Sagittarius Sun Leo mean oh no, I don't have to do what I don't want to do. Um and we're gonna be nice and we will say let's My stomach keeps making noises. I'm about to scream. There. Forty six sixty five. Is that better? I mean, that's still a lot, but no, I'm good with that. That's fine. Oh. Well, I mean, I I can't I can't make it any cheaper unless you knock off your breads, your your cheese sticks, and or your your cinnamon sticks. Ain't and, happening, and girl. Go Ain't happening. Up. That's what I thought. Apparently, my purchase has unlocked. This is the second purchase that has unlocked a three month Sirius XM subscription for free. They partnered with SiriusXM. Apparently. Did you ever get um, those things in the mail? Or like... I... So... Uh, back up. In early 2015, I bought... Uh, like I traded in my car and I got a, a quote-unquote new car. It was like, like one of the loan... The, the, the car shop loaner cars that they had on the lot. Right. And it came with a three month trial of Sirius. I didn't realize it until the day that I was driving oh, me yeah. and my kids to Florida. So I literally <laughs> signed up on the road. So I had tunes because I it never occurred to me. Oh, I should probably figure out the radio situation. I should probably do that. Um, and then I also, they have, um, uh, I, I also got like a three, a three month trial of OnStar, which was great. I never used it. And then whenever I tried to cancel it, they guilt tripped me and they're like, oh, well, what if you break down on the side of the road and there's nobody for you to call to come get you? And it's like dark and there's like no lights and it might be really scary. And wouldn't you like to have OnStar to help you? No, <laughs> no. Um, Chevy has one, what is Chevy's called? It's called like bright something. I think it's like, it's something like that. And it, it was like a similar deal. They're just, you know, they're just trying to get money. Like, like get, get your money, girl, get your money. 
Tweeb absolutely sleeps over. This is my house. Um, when he sleeps over, he sleeps on the tiny little that? love seat. Uh, uh, Steven. 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 Dude, we've been married for five years. So, Queeb sleeps on the tiny little love seat that's in the office. I mean, that's that true is, at the moment, yeah. That That is the only place where he is allowed to sleep. Today, he did take a nap in the bed with me and Zoe. Um, Zoe didn't move because she is a queen and she never has to. Um, but, yes, uh, this is my husband. He knows his place. He is husband number two. Husband number one is my snake. That is not a euphemism. It's actually a snake. Krona says cinnamon sticks is so good. He didn't touch the cinnamon sticks that I got him last time. Krona. I completely still in the forgot. Fucking fridge. I completely I, forgot. I have to. I have to throw them out with the trash tonight. Mm. All right. So I've got subathon day one A, subathon day one B, subathon mm -hmm. day two A, and day two B mm -hmm. locked in. So I'm gonna publish those as highlights on Twitch, and then I'm going to download those files. Um, okay. We're going to maybe lose a little bit of quality if our internet sort of dropped for a small amount of time, but this is the easiest way to, mm -hmm. to download a usable file. And then I'll upload all of that to the second YouTube channel as a, as a, mm -hmm. um, as a VOD. That's smart. Uh, <clears throat> Devin, Devin, um, he's, so what he does is he normally signs off about nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then he'll sleep until like, you know, five or six in the evening. Um, Holy so he, fuck, babe. I streamed 18 and a half hours on day two. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 18 and a half hours. It didn't even yeah. feel like it. I and know. I'm still going. We're on day 24 today. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, you need to change the title. Um, what do you mean? Yeah, Re so refresh. I already have. I mean, okay. Yeah, so he's sleeping during the day, and then he's streaming all night. Uh, there have been like, there's been like a moment or two where he's had to take a tiny little break off stream, and just kind of like, you know, deal with it. <laughs> deal with being so so just you know, not having a break. But yeah, we've got a nice little rhythm going. I uh, might have to do three parts because Twitch doesn't look like they can do anything over right. 10 hours or maybe even eight hours. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll deal. JB, I'm doing my best here. I mean... 18 divided by three is six. It wasn't my choice to be married to a streamer. Um, I was kind of roped into this fiasco. Um, so yeah, like the least he can do is sleep on the love seat in the office. <laughs> although it was it was nice having a nap with him this this afternoon because every so often he would like he would like pat my hair <laughs> like reach up and like pat my hair and like smell my hair because he forgot i'm like i'm a real person <laughs> so that was nice But I mean, seriously, these cou like these couches, the couch and the love seat are a set that my neighbor across the street, who I don't know, left outside. Like as soon as she put them outside, I was like peeking over my gate, like, <clears throat> "Girl, what you doing over there?" And I made him come and help me bring them in. The that was a mission. The couch is like an actual love, like it's a, it's a sleeper sofa. It was heavy as fuck. I permanently well, i didn't permanently like i long-term bruised my fingers and my hands um pretty bad like i couldn't move my hands very well for several days after because it was just so heavy um but i've never pulled out the sleeper sofa part but sleeping on that couch i wait it's a fold-out bed it is a fold-out bed and i've been sleeping I'm on it normal no, 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 no. The couch, not the love seat. The love seat's a regular love seat. Oh, okay. Um, like I've I've had some of the best sleep of my life on that couch. That said, I am an insomniac, so that should you know that should just tell you everything you need to know. 
I think the only time I've slept better would maybe be in like a hotel room where it's like you're, you, you're on like the nice thick bed with the nice thick comforter and the sheets and the room gets icy cold and yeah. Oh my God. I sleep like a baby in hotel rooms. All right. Twitch is having a hard time here. We might have to ditch day two. Next up, they're making my order. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 2128. All right. So, King Nesta, do you see on the screen where Queeb is sitting? And you see the wall directly behind his <laughs> monitors? I'm on the other side of those walls. Like, I'm, we could drill a hole and see each other. However, um, I don't feel like listening to my landlord bitch about it. Yeah, I'm literally right there. We're pointing at each other. I'm hoping that at the new place, um, I have no clue how that's going to happen, but we're going to make it work. Um, I'm hoping that we can have a setup where I can be kind of piped in to where if I want to like chime in to something he's talking about or or whatever I can like just push a button and I have a, a, a live mic on my side and just be like you know I could uh, yes mm, I could do that <laughs> I could do that <laughs> like well, that's the thing, King Nesta. This is not our house. Um, our landlord thought it was questionable that we wanted the walls painted. A color that was not like a light color. That's right. He's like, like oh, but what about the next tenants? I don't give a fuck about the next tenants. Like he's... When, when we... I'm not going to go into this like long drawn out story of how shitty he is. He's a good person, but this is a classic example of a good person does not make a good landlord. He is an absolute shit landlord. When we moved in, the house was not cleaned. The hallway and the bathroom, for instance, were not painted. They put a partial like they went through and like spot painted. So there are streaks of like, like, like different patches of paint that have not been cleaned up things were not dusted um it took a year like almost a year for him to finish up the second bathroom which we pay for we pay for a garage that we don't have access like private access to because apparently we share it with someone else and now they never shut the door so it's like it's a whole thing um but at the new place I have like so many great plans for this place that we don't we 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 have no idea where it exists. It exists somewhere in the in in this dimension. But just having the ability to each have our own separate offices, like like workspaces, would just be a dream. And having the ability to pipe in some kind of mic situation even on either side where literally we can like hit a button and pipe into whatever's like I streaming can do that. i can do that that would be beautiful and just so perfect i would love to have that you would get bonus points if you were able to pop up a little window like with a functioning webcam where i could actually I could like... do that <laughs> do you hear him See, Quee, like you could come up with some kind of impossible situation as long as it's tech related. Quee would be like, "I can do it. I'll figure it out. I'm a guy for it. I can do it." I do like the radio station idea. However, as someone who has not had her her own private space with a a door that shuts for several years, if I do not get a room that I can completely close off from the rest of the house. I will go to prison. Like, I will go to prison. Okay, the chime in whenever scenario sounds awesome. Landlord, well, situation is what it is. I mean, 
he is the the best landlord I have had. That is not saying a lot at all. But we're making do with the situation we have. Like I said, I'm not going to get on here and bash him because, like, he's a good guy. He's just he's he's not used to being a landlord, and that was the problem that we we fell into. But it's okay because the next place is going to be great. We're going to have a good situation. We're not going to be paying this much fucking rent. It's going to be amazing. So me, perfect. Uh, Masa, I'm so sorry that you are dealing with um, emergency vet situations. I hope oh, everything dang, is okay. Dude, that sucks. I've, I, I have been there. In we know what that's like. Huh? Yeah. Part of the reason why I am I was so triggered by having to take Emma to the emergency vet is because I know most people have great experiences with them, but. It just so happened that like the previous experience I had was with taking my my uh, my dog there, and it was like, you know, she can't stand up. I don't know what's going on. They're like, oh yeah, her liver or her kidneys are failing, like just out of the blue. Uh, but like emergency vets, like those people are just the people who can work at an emergency vet. Those are some good people. They really are. And they do good work. So sending you um, tons of love and healing vibes and thoughts and prayers and whatever else. Like, truly, I hope everything works out for you, Masa. So Queeb got um, those those hex boxes. He has like a bunch of like soundproofing pan. Like, I'm telling you, the office that you see it's only partially done to what we actually wanted. Like, we got tons of, of soundproofing panels and, um, like, like we were going to, like, completely just max it out. And we kind of stopped giving a shit whenever it just seemed like any kind of obstacle we would run into with the house. It would just, you know, it would just kind of be met with whatever. The washer... Um, flooded twice it's not our washer it, it came with the, the unit that's the one that zapped twice. me yeah yeah and um so like having to and, and both times it happened like well the first time it happened it was me by myself and i told Queeb, and he's like oh that must have been mm -hmm. hard and that was it. and then the second time it happened when he was here he's like holy shit i had no idea it was this bad but it was like the water went underneath his desk and like my entire area was soaked in it was like a huge deal. I was and lucky that day. Like you were. Someone was looking we, out for my computer. Mm-hmm. And we just got to the point where we're like, you know what? Let let's let's hold off on 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 doing what we thought we wanted to do. Um he has mentioned that he does want to just like max max out his studio like as, as as primo as possible, but he hasn't even begun planning it out. I have no doubt that when we find a place and and he is is saddled with his new studio, it's it's going to be an adventure. Like truly, seven. I don't even know how how that's how how to say your name, but I think of the the dog. Uh, I think it was Tuna, which by the way, Tuna has passed. But it's the dog where uh, the meme is something like um, I told her I told her my name was Steven with a PH <laughs> and he has like a, he has an overbite and he's like yeah my name is Steven and that's how for whatever reason in my head I'm thinking it's seven in my head um, I am actively looking for a house in um, Pacific Northwest area I think that would be a good area for us to move to um cooler more actual seasons uh still kind of close to the coast you're going to washington huh i would like to go to oregon like west oregon i've looked at salem um beautiful houses out there however right now there is the um because the moratorium on evictions has expired it is a shit show finding a place so right. i've I'm kind of leaving it to whoever is listening. Like I have my little list of things that I want that I repeat every day. And I'm like, you know, 
ho- hopefully the right person will reach out and they'll they'll like they'll they'll know of a place that has like the right number of bedrooms and bathrooms and a private backyard where my dogs can like run around like like crazy little heathens without bothering anybody and there's a kitchen that's actually pretty and if there's any problems with the house i can bring it up to the landlord and they're like oh my god yeah oh my god i'm yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. Holy shit. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Or they'll say, you know, I could totally take care of that. If you're able to fix it, go for it. We'll, we'll take some money off your rent or something like just having like a down as fuck landlord, you know, that would be nice. If I could find like the perfect house and have it be like a lease to own situation, that would be sweet as fuck because I'm tired of fucking renting. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, maybe one day we'll um, we'll get it. I would, I would like to be gone like before summer is over. I would like us to to move, which means that would be a summer move, which I'm not looking forward to. With two dogs, four snakes, and two adults, one of which overheats consistently, even when the weather is like seventy degrees. I'm speaking about myself. Oh, uh-huh. is correct, Stephen. Uh, let's see. Let me scroll back up to Masa. Try to charge me a thousand for rent expenses. That's the one thing that I just I cannot stand about those the emergency vets. Like you really have to know your shit. Oh, you if pay for that, yeah. This last time, I'm not going to go into it because I'm I'm still kind of sensitive about it. And you're going through a situation. You don't need to hear that. I'm so lucky that we had a care credit card. Mm-hmm. And I could just like, she started going over the charges and they showed me the bill. And it was like, oh, we did this and we, we did like this. It was like literally like 18 different things they listed. And. I wanted to be out of that moment so bad. I literally just handed her the card and I'm like, just take, just what, just fine. Just do whatever. She cannot be, she cannot be in any more pain. Like you, you have to make sure she's not in any more pain. Um, like I'm, I'm so thankful that we were in that position, but like the first time I ever had to deal with something like that, I was like in my twenties, I didn't know any better. I was like, yeah, sure. Sure, they need all of these charges. And, you know, I didn't know any better. I didn't know that I could have taken my my kid to her regular vet. Then, like, when the regular vet opened, that I didn't have to keep her at the emergency vet. I didn't know. Krona, here in... Southern California, we don't really have, well, we have generic weather, which is like generic California weather. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Oh, the light jacket. Um, We have the quote unquote rainy season, which is January, February. It doesn't rain that much, but it'll usually rain for like a week or two and that's it. May and June, we have like June gloom, which is like overcast and cloudy mornings. It like it got up to like 69, 70 degrees today. Nice. Um, which it's it's fine. It, it is fine if that's as hot as it gets. But the final little season that we have is we'll have four or five heat waves as kind of punishment for having may and june to kind of cool off like and normally 90 degrees is not heat wave however most of southern california does not have air conditioning at all like we have the that big white thing behind queeb is one of our air conditioners we can only use one at a time very expensive to run expensive to get we can't run both at the same time because of the the shitty electrical in this house yeah, so fuse box blows yeah it's just you know it's a thing um masa is correct louisiana only has one season like they well they have they have gross and then they have rainy season like just 
like it will rain nonstop to the point where um, my father was a, a contract farmer and it was notorious that they would literally have months of time where they cannot work because it's raining so bad. So in, because you're not working, you're not getting paid. So you have to, if you're smart, you have to stockpile your money through the rest of the year, kind of like what teachers have to do, because you do get those two to three months where you cannot work at all because the crops are ruined mm -hmm. and therefore you cannot get paid. And it's like, I will say this, like, I love the rain in Louisiana. Like, it's a very woody kind of area. Like, it's just, the rain always smells fresh. And then you have to, like, you have the realization of that humidity, that sticky, fucking thick ass air. And you just, like, it, it's as bad, if not worse, than Florida was. It's just, like, thick. Jenko says the old house we used to live in was government owned, so they literally did nothing with it. Windows were broken and weather doors terrible. That's what our place was in uh, Florida. Like he he was going to tear it down after we moved out, so he didn't want to put any money into it. And then this house, it's it's on a lot with other properties, and he just doesn't know any better, so he tries to do everything himself. Like he'll, he'll YouTube something, which that's fine if you want to do things yourself, but you need to do it properly and not try to do it as cheap as possible mm -hmm. and like, like duct tape shit together. I was in a rental house my whole childhood and now I have to make, have my own apartment to myself, but at least I get to make it. I absolutely miss the freedom of apartments like in in Texas because if I didn't like my living situation I could literally pick an area of North Texas that I wanted to live in I could go to like apartments.com suss it out see what area I wanted to live in they have I don't know if they still have it but they had like apartmentmovers.com or whatever so if you use those websites to find the apartment then they will move you for free but you have to find the apartment through that website. And then whenever you go to the leasing office and they say, how did you hear about us? You have to list like apartment movers or whatever the site is. But I could literally do that, get my move, my move for free. Um, I could put a $25 down for an application, which that's now gone up to 50. They've added an admin fee of 50 bucks to hundred bucks. And then deposits are like 150, 250 and 350 for one, two and three bedroom respectively. But it's like an abundance of apartments out there. New apartments, beautiful apartments, kept up apartments. And out here, it, it's like, there's such a housing crisis in, in Los Angeles. There is, if, if we had the money, like if we, if we were making easy, like we would have to make double what we're making right now, we could get a decent apartment out here that wanna, wasn't slapped I don't together. Pay that much in rent. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like you like just that thought is like, uh especially when you it's know that in Texas. Money away at that point, it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's just so fucking stupid. We have four seasons hot, hot and humid, warm and humid, cool. Was <laughs> that correct? The rain depends on where you are in Louisiana. North of the middle is more. My family is in the middle of the boot, middle to north of the boot. Um, like swamps, backwoods type area. Welfare to create sounds kind of thing. If there are only a few places in Europe that will allow for both our dog breeds and our snake breeds, species rather, um, I would love to, to move to Europe, but it, it's not something that's going to happen anytime soon because I have 
you know, I have a, a six year old, Zoe's going to be six on July 4th. And I have a, a 10, 11 week old puppy. That's the same breed. There's no way I could put them through that kind of move. But yeah, like Sweden, Switzerland, Norway, like just. Switzerland's very even, expensive too. Even, even parts of, of Ireland, like if I ever moved, I would either want to live in a city center. Be, speaking about Europe, I would want to live in a city center or like out in the country. Like, I don't want people around me. I'm, I'm done with people. And the only reason why I'd want to live in a city center so I, I could be close to like different kinds of food. Hold on one second. Let me go check the pizza. Maybe it's here. That would be nice. No, it won't. It won't. Why one? Why will it not publish another? Maybe because it's still processing the previous ones. All right. Well, I'll save the timestamps, and that'll give me day two. Why? Why isn't everything just simple? When did the green screen boom cover and chair cover happen? That's been a while. I uh, actually did a TikTok on both. One of them got really, really popular. Um... One moment. Quiblet, I have food. Food you is here. Do you want me to bring you a plate? Um, please, yeah. Just two okay. slices. Be fine. Give me a second. So the mic stand one is going back to February. February 20th, I did that. Um... It's a, it's a glove. I have the other one. Yes, you hear a, a bork. Oh, I just ripped a hole in it, but yes, that's essentially it right there. Um, I cut the hand off, and that, that's what covers the mic uh, arm. It's good. Actually, it works really well. I would ideally like to mount it on this side. Obviously, that's not possible. I may flip my setup when I, when I do build the next office, but... And then the chair cover is just a standard chair cover. All of, all of this stuff, by the way, is... Um, if you look down below, you'll see a setup, streaming setup uh, link. It's an Amazon affiliate link kind of thing. Um, but anyway, you click on that and you, you get in, you know, all the info. All the items are there. kind of excited I haven't been looking forward to this pizza for uh, a few days now so tell me about all all yourselves how's everyone doing Hopefully you're having a, a great day. What day is it today? It's Sunday. Sunday at 9 p.m.
Palmetto bug. What's the second plate for? Oh. Very good. Even better. Thank you. Whew. Palmetto bug is a cockroach. That's my pizza. Oh, and it's still hot too. I'm sorry, what about a palmetto bug? I was busy dealing with pizza and children. I want pizza, but it's poor. Dude, go to Reddit. Go to Reddit. There are forums. Like, there, there's a buy a pizza forum. Like, legit. Ghost hand stream win. Wait, what's the... What's the Reddit thing? There is a Reddit uh, subreddit where you can request a pizza. So you can go on there and you can say, hey, I'm broke. I don't get paid for another two weeks. I like I, I would really love some Papa John's. And there is you can only request like one one every month and you can only have like one active request. And people will regularly go on there and they will buy you a pizza. Masa, you probably do. We got them at um, Walmart, I believe, when we moved to uh, Florida and they just came here. For real, like it, it's super cool of them. Um, I think I have seen other people say, you know, I don't really want or like they'll say something like there's there aren't any good pizza places around me, but there's a Popeye's. I would absolutely love some Popeye's and like people will legit pay for it. Um, I think it's called like request a pizza or buy me a pizza or some, some shit like that. Like Google Reddit, buy me a pizza. You'll find it. It's everyone is super cool there. Uh, and all it is, it's literally buy me a pizza. It's no bullshit. I think that's one of the reasons why it, it works up so well, or it works so well, is that it's just anonymous acts of kindness. There are Facebook groups, like I did market research for a, for a project on Facebook. And there are tons of like blessings groups and basically give me money groups and people just scam the fuck out of them. Like they're like literally every week. Hey, just FYI, this person made this post screenshots are available because they did a dirty delete. They were asking for money. We found the same photos in four other groups asking for money. And to our recollection, she has about $1,000 now when she was only asking for like 200 from this group. Um, we went ahead. We have deleted her post. We've banned her from the group. We're really sorry. Like, literally, people just scamming the fuck out of them. But like this Reddit group where it's all, or the subreddit where it's literally just I will like I want a pizza and someone anonymously buys it. It's perfect. There's actually a service and I can't remember the name of it, but a streamer would sign up and they would provide their address and and like personal information, right? But then other users could go in and like pay for whatever by dinner or something right so the the streamer would get delivered food and it's another way that chat could kind of help out i um i i until now i'd i'd never considered it because i don't eat on stream but obviously i've broken that rule a little bit <laughs>
Stephen, why have you not eaten pizza in years? I've what? been talking this whole time and my, my mic's been off. Jesus Christ. Welcome welcome to being a streamer. You're not a professional streamer until you fuck up. <laughs> Apparently. Um, so I asked a couple of questions. I asked Masa, you're an hour away from Texas and Arkansas. Are you close to Shreveport or Bossier City? And then I went down to Junko who says, how does the them buying you a pizza go? I think what they do is they private you. Like they'll like it, like I, the transaction does not take place in the subreddit, and I think for safety purposes they they don't actually like call the place and order the pizza. Although to be fair, I am a girl, and I'm kind of a cute girl sometimes when I put on my eyebrows. I have been able to get boys to call my local pizza place and buy me a pizza and not use my real name. That's lady privilege. So that's a thing. Can't get one. So kind of people that exist. I can eat that whole pizza, not two slices like you do. The whole, like, not having... I eat several types of food, but really don't. Huh. Okay, I can see that. My mother's kind of in a similar position right now, but it's because of medical reasons. She had um, a medical condition where she's limited on the foods that she can eat right now. 30 minutes north. Of yes. Yes, I, I know where you are, Masa. I know where you are. I once drove with my mother from... Um, we drove from Dallas to where my parent, my parents' families lived, like out by Monroe, and then we drove from Monroe down to New Orleans, like kind of in a diagonal. I want to say there is a town, I believe it is in Mississippi, like just over the border. I, th I was only like fourteen, so please bear with me. There is like this tiny little town picturesque like it was straight out of a damn movie like just perfect little shops and it's like literally like set up on the side of the mississippi river and it was just beautiful country out there it's so amazing like my uh my grandmother's house back when it was when like it, it's been like sold and bulldozed like many many years ago but like they have these tall fucking pine trees in the in the yards. And like the yard, the lots are just huge because they, they've had them for like ever. It's just such a nice area. Just so nice. Cousin lives in West Monroe, got family in Metairie, Baton Rouge, and several places in Texas. East Texas has some some decent areas as well. Like absolutely. It's a shame that the politics are the way that they are. And it's a shame that Louisiana is one of the poorest states. Because, yeah, there are some bad parts, but there are some genuinely beautiful parts. Only pizza, better version of all of me. I love that. Um, back, I want to say it was like during MySpace. It was like during my MySpace days. I I specifically remember like I, I was a baby. I can't even tell you how old I was. I don't even remember, but like early, early days of my internet infancy. And I specifically remember having having a guy who had been one of my MySpace friends forever. I'm using quoting fingers friends. And he said to me, Hey, I'm buying I'm buying girls pizza. Do you want me to buy you pizza tonight? I'm like, ha, 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 you know, whatever. He's like, no, I'm being serious. I got paid. I got a lot more than I thought. And I like looking at your pictures. I want to buy you a pizza. I'm like, okay, you can buy me a pizza. Sure. Give, give me. You know what? It like, I'm, I'm okay with that. I know, right, Masa? <laughs> like now, looking back on it, I can say, um, 
I'm probably going to say no, but thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, at the time, like no one had ever bought me anything before, like especially no one that I, I didn't really know. Like I'm telling you, I had only been on the internet for maybe six months or so, like for real. And I was just like, what? People buy other people food? What? Yeah, bitch. They buy you food. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Archerus. Now, now that I've said that, now that I've said that, I have had male friends create I'm I'm violating the strictest of confidentialities to tell you this. I have had male friends, not friends with each other, like like I am I am friends with both of them and they don't know each other exists, create profiles of women so they can get food and money and whatever else. Like they absolutely catfish. Absolutely three thousand percent. I'm like, you know what? I can't even hate on you. Yunko, how do you not use Reddit? I'm not even a Reddit person and I use Reddit. Someone buy Junko a pizza or something. Well, you said it's like 1.30 there, so you have time to like go make some comments and on some like other like popular posts and see if people like upvote it. Masa, it is cinnamon sticks. Junko, you, you can't look at it that way. On the internet, you're able to be whoever you want to be. On the internet, you don't have to have social anxiety. You can fake it. You can pretend. Like, for real. I know of Mr. Pocket's Pizza Angels. I don't even know of that, and that sounds amazing. But I... Junko, do you have a PayPal? DM me. Anywhere, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll send you 20 bucks and buy, buy yourself a pizza. As a ruler of the McLeeb wallet, I can endorse this uh, PayPal purchase. And it is endorsed. Yeah, fuck it. I gotta give back. Gotta give back. Warblade, thank you very much. He uh, He's worked very hard on it. Knowing him, he still finds flaws and he wants to redo it. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, though, I'm my computer has been a trooper um, this last little bit. I am jealous. Kui built my computer and something went wrong in the, the initial setup. So... I had to reinstall it, right? Mm -hmm. It was it was a driver thing, and but it fucked the yeah. it fucked the Windows but, install. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? There's a couple of things. One, if you put it to sleep, it will randomly wake up. Even oh well, that's a that's a BIOS thing, which I think I fixed. Right, but it still does that. And number two, there are occasionally issues. Like for instance, I tried playing Hellblade two you a sacrifice and one of the reasons why i couldn't play it is because there there's like there's something funky i have i have a windows machine but i have a mac monitor and it's just like it, it doesn't jive well with each other sometimes um but yeah like as, aside from that like my 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 tower is white like the the inside is white and i have like like the the fan is uh led the the fucking was it the graphics card is has led like rainbow which is my my jam and not the graphics card what is the the other thing the cpu cooler has it the yeah, motherboard has motherboard okay. some some flare on it yeah 
Yeah, so they both have rainbow um, LEDs, but they don't go in sync, so they're a little bit off of each other, and it just like it it it's perfect and it's my jam. And my husband built it for me, and it was it wasn't like, honey, will you build me a computer? He was, I'm gonna build you a computer, and I I just let him do whatever the fuck he wanted. Um, I'm gonna she talked. I'm gonna try to build a second, or like a dedicated streaming computer, because at the moment. My one machine is doing everything. Um, mm -hmm. So if I'm if I'm able to get this thirty eighty Ti, um, it'll go in this machine, and then I can offload this for rendering into the other one. Please direct all questions about my setup to Quee because I truly, very honestly, for the first time in my life, I'm completely ignorant about my setup. I was the same though, babe. Apology. Babe, I was I was totally the same when I when I started this journey two years ago. Now, um, I hadn't built a machine in twenty years, which is where I am now. I'm used to knowing all of my specs, and I just got to a point where I was suddenly in a relationship with someone who knew more about technology than I did, mm. and I was like, you know, whatever you want to do. And the only questions you asked me were, do you want a black case or do you want a, uh, a black tower or a white tower? I'm like, I want, I want a white one and I want rainbow. Like I want, I want rainbow somehow. I couldn't, I couldn't get you a white motherboard because we were on a, we were on a budget with, with that machine. But, um, but there's white motherboards. You can, you can replace the, the, uh, the IHS on your graphics card and you can get white ram we did get you like off-white sort of ram it's all right it, i mean it's good mm -hmm. good ram not like the fastest I, in the world but it works i love it i get compliments on it all the time jake um, paul is my dad yes go just just ask it don't by asking yeah, me so, i got a question for you and then hey can i ask you a question you've already yeah just ask you've used too much energy already save that energy um, for your question Queeb, do you know <laughs> what case i have it's the H510. What do we think about LGBTQ? It's an we odd, are pro. Yeah, it's an odd question, first of all, but... We're exceptionally pro. And if you say otherwise, then we'll, I'll, we'll probably boot you out. Um, it's okay. But we're, we don't talk about that here. Like, you can keep your political opinions to yourself. It's not even a po political it, opinion. It just makes you a shitty person. It, it, it is, yes. Um... I do find it odd that though those that's like the first thing that you said. And uh, you're, they, they're you're coming hitting... in here just looking for shit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. If you're still in here listening, um probably shouldn't do that. Like if you want to go start shit, like that's totally cool, but you know. You'd probably like like find a find a better chat, find someone who who doesn't have an active chat stream maybe someone who has maybe like five two or five viewers who will actually actively engage with you but it's not going to happen here slack yeah we had someone come in who pestered queeb with hey i got a question hey i got a question what do you think about lgbtq and when we gave our uh, our opinion they said i hate it but of course their username is jake paul is my dad 12 which they are probably 10 which means they're lying about their their age on Twitch terms of service. So they should actually be reported in case someone would like to do that. Legitimately can't believe I called them. <laughs> no, ev anyone is welcome here as long as as long as mm -hmm. you're respectful of other people. That's it. Anybody. Largest, hi, good morning. Masa, I am I am very impressed that you were able to call it. Truly, please ignore me eating while I talk. It's it's um, the most popular case ever. Mm -hmm. It's not great for airflow, but it it it's also not bad either. Yeah, like it's. I've seen people m make like like fancier cases with um, like you know the water cooler and like with rainbow LEDs and there's like action figures in there and it's like a whole tableau and all this shit. Um, I don't. 
I don't really care too much. Just because the positioning of the tower, I don't really see it. It's the the one covered side is next to Faye's tank. And then the other side, the side with the window, is mostly hidden by my monitor. So I don't really see it. But yeah, like it's it's decent. It's it's not bad. I don't I, I love seeing people on like um like Instagram and especially it's starting to become popular on TikTok now, like showing your like your your ultra cool setup and I wish I could be one of those people, but I just can't be bothered. Jemko has DM'd you, McQueep. On it. And then Slacto has asked if you have a better graphics card than a 970 for sale. Um, I've got Junko the in I've got the 3080. I've got an old uh, Vega 64. I don't know if I want to sell that yet. Junko for PayPal, you can get up to 250 unverified, I believe. It's either 250 or 500. Uh, you will need to make sure if you log into your PayPal panel, it should tell you on that homepage, like, you know, here here are your limits, and this is what you need to do to lift them. The, the problem with PayPal is that once it's in your account, I don't think you can pay for a pizza with that. You would have to withdraw it, and it's instant, but you pay, like, a, a small fee on that. Mm. Um, but for 20 bucks, the fee is, like, it's minimal. It's like, yeah, because cents, it's... No, no big deal. Just not been able to get around. No, it's fine. Junko, like for, for shit like this, like I want to say it's like, you know, like, like active life putting together bullshit. Just take your time. Flacto is correct. They take 3% plus they, it's, it's like 3% plus like, it, it's like, I want to say it's, it's like 25, 30 cents or some, some shit like that. Like, if you PayPal someone a dollar, you would only be PayPaling them, like, 60-some-odd cents or some shit like that. Slack, I believe that's the one he waited in line for at like five o'clock in the morning. Never got it then. Um, uh, become an EVGA pro member. That's how I got it. Please, can you type exactly what that is in the chat so they can look it up, please? Because I think that's valuable information. Mm hmm. Not just for Slack, but whoever's listening. Xpeel, hi, hello, how are you? Wait, what? Why is this? <clears throat> I try not to use PayPal. Um, there are... Eh, it's very... It's kind of like in that same conversation with Amazon, like... Like, try not to use large corporations, shit like that, just because they have a monopoly. Like, even, and there's some people who are like, oh, well, I don't use PayPal, I use Venmo. Well, they're owned by the same company. So, it's like six of one, half dozen of the other. Take your pick. I think the only difference between the two is with PayPal, you can actually, like, you can uh, reverse a charge. And then on Venmo, you can't. Like, once it's it's done, it's done.
Rona, and the entire time I've seen your name, I have never once thought that. Let's give it a few years. People, like, we already have people who are acting like it's never happened. What and they're just beating about? through it. Um, Corona and Krona's name. He said that he hates the, the fact that they named the virus that because he picked his name a few years ago before it popped up. Yeah, like, literally just wait like a year or two and you're good. By the way, there's certain fan placements in high static force fans that improve airflow by a decent amount in the 510s. Even Reddit's devoted to helping maximize airflow in different cases. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, EVGA. Rona, when I first saw your name, I thought it was like kind of a take on chromatic. Like instead of chromatic, I thought it was like chrona, like, like in that same vein. I didn't once think that it was related to the virus. No, me neither. I thought chroma as in time. Chrona. Kronos, mm -hmm. the god of time. Or the um, bastardization spelling of the Klingon homeworld. Elite, means elite membership, it's called. So um, the 3080Ti, for example, that I put my name down for, um, allows 24 hours ahead of everybody else if you're an elite member and you put your name down and then the way EVGA works is that um, they'll send you an email um, and the you have an 8 hour window to purchase during that time I don't know if I want the I mean I definitely want the 3080 Ti but it's $1400 and we ain't in that position yet also we've kind of been in the situation where whenever you get an alert for one of these things I did just say these things um you'll get it because you've been building, you built your machine, or I think you built my machine first, and then you built your machine. But I think you also built one before mine. Um, so it's literally like whenever you you find a piece that you're able to get, it, it's kind of like, okay, well, you get this, and it's going in this machine, and then that one goes in this machine, and then that one goes in this machine, just, you know, hodgepodge it. Nidicus. Uh, Zeph is a super cool person. Super chill, super down, very friendly. I'm gonna go grab a, another slice. Give me just a moment, please. Oh, Masa, I, trust me, I've, I've been through it all looking for graphics cards this year and, and over the last year. I was in through four discords with notifications on every single time they went live, whether it was Best Buy, uh, Micro Center, whatever. Um, by the time I'd gotten there, which was 30 seconds, uh, yeah, it, 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 it had already gone, so. Like, it's wild, dude. I I was I was this close to getting 
or to, to buying or, or renting or I don't even know how it works a, a bot to, to purchase myself a card so stupid These are really good by the way. They're they're cooked to perfection. It's a it's a combination of both, Masa. Yes, supplies are extremely low right now. Um but the the bots are making it really hard for uh just people that legitimately want to buy it. Like, I, I guarantee if I drove to Micro Center right now, there'd be people camped out for tomorrow morning. It's that bad. And this is what? When, when did the 3080s come out? Be close to a year ago, yeah? I think so. I mean, it, it's been a while. <laughs> the weather I mean, was colder. Yeah. I remember that. Um, I couldn't get the 5950X forever. It took me, I, I put my order in with B&H Photo. Um, they're notorious for taking orders when they don't have stock. Um, when I got the 3950 a couple of years back, um, I lined up overnight and... I was able to get, I was first in line at Micro Center and, uh, and I got it, but no, this one is, uh, every, everybody was after it because the 5950 was, you know, leaps, of, leaps and bounds ahead of, uh, of the predecessor. Just binged a ton of Noita videos, amazing content. Welcome, Danny. How you doing, man? Great to have you here. Thank you for the, uh, for the compliment. I really have to get back into YouTube. Um, I haven't had much time over the last three weeks. Obviously, this has been going on instead. But I'll be back to it soon. Very excited. Yeah, on the day the 30, 3080s came out, a buddy of mine, um, we drove to Micro Center and... Like... I don't know what we were thinking. We were desperate. I'd been up since five o'clock in the morning, refreshing the screen over and over and over again. And we thought, oh, fuck it. We'll drive out. Waste of time. Ab complete waste of time. We, d we saw the line and we didn't even, like half the people in the line weren't even close to getting a card. Oh, you as well, Steven? It's dope. Yeah, my, my Noita content does well. People like that game, man. I think it, it definitely helps that the game is super difficult, so... Um, thank you for the gift sub, Krona. Very nice. Uh, so, like, tips tips actually make a, a big difference. And and the, the tips video that I put up... Um, it's got, like, 20 tips or something in it. Um, it's There's good stuff in there. Yeah, there's good, good, like, it, it's practical uh, tips, which, uh, which I think is, is very valuable. You want to grow on Twitch, make content on YouTube. You want to grow faster, make educational content on YouTube. And thank you for the second gifted sub, man.
Oh, that's really cool. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it, that, that game doesn't hold your hand at all. And it's even worse now. We were talking about this the other day. They've made it way, way, way more difficult um, since 1.0 came out. And even the, the latest content updates, which I haven't even looked at. I'm not real... I'm not real excited by the updates anymore. It's it's too much for me to keep up with. So, um, plus I haven't played the game in in months because uh, I've I've moved on. Yep, I agree. If you can make it to the end level, you can beat the boss. Um, that's always been a that's always been a thing, though. If you want to make him harder, pick up five orbs, start with that, and then give it another shot. You will get a different ending too. I think what does what does five give you? Oh no, five lets you uh, lets you go to new game plus. I think I can't remember. Oh, I didn't even notice um, Donkey Jim timed someone out yesterday. That would have been for uh, spoilers, no doubt. If you're talking, Ms. Queeb, we can't hear you. He also accidentally... Um, he did accidentally time someone out. I'm not sure if he he did it during... Uh, or did it again during the, the gameplay. But yeah, we were actually having a conversation with, um, I think it was Aggressive Walrus. And he was, it, it was like a thing. Like they were literally just having a conversation and he accidentally timed him out. Got it. Got <laughs> Aggressive it. was like, wait, what did I do? He's like, no, 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 I didn't read it. No, I'm not sure if, if he legitimately did it during your gameplay, but yeah, it happened during the day. How was your dinner? I am I am satiated. I'm very very happy right now. That's good. Time for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on my fourth slice, and it's like it's just it's bomb. It's a fucking bomb. Oh, you're enjoying it that much? I the medium pizza from Pizza Hut. Domino's is a similar situation. The mediums. If you get the mediums with extra sauce, light cheese, and ask for it well done, it's perfect. It's just, it's perfect. It's the right amount of pizza. Like, you can't really gorge on it. It's like, even if I wanted to eat the whole thing right now, it's, I'm not going to feel that terrible just because it's not that much pizza. It's just, it, it's so good. I, um, yeah, I, I used to be able to go through a pizza easy. And, and have room for whatever sides I had. But now I'm just like two slices. <laughs> I'm good. That's all I need. That was a that was a thin one. Uh, I ate way more last time, but no. I'm... Oh, that's right. I had a I had a cereal bowl when I woke up as well. Yep. Let's make huge pizzas or eat two at a time. Malganis, I, I have done the same thing. I still live. When, when I'm in my feels, when I need to feel comforted by the loving bosom of a good buttery crust and, and some marinara sauce and, and some vegetables, then absolutely. Like, it, it just, like, it's perfect. It's so comforting. Um... But yeah, like this, this was good. This was good. I, I'm glad that we went with this instead of the Thai food, just because I'm not, you know, 
I don't I don't eat Thai food. The only thing I eat there is the the house rice with double egg and no meat. And that's it. You don't get meat in it? You get shrimp nope. sometimes, right? Um technically a meat. It well I so we ordered from one place and they made you pick a meat. And so I'm like, okay, fine, shrimp. I haven't had shrimp in like a decade. That's fine. And then I tried it again with chicken. The chicken's just too dry, so I just gave it to the dogs. And so this current place that I go to, if you say no meat, they'll ask you if you want them to double the vegetables. So that they do mm. that. So I get no meat, which doubles the vegetables, and then I get double egg. So it, it's it's not as uh, as dry, and there's a little bit more flavor in it. It's super good. Um, it's even better if you, I haven't done it in a while, but if you like get it home, throw it in a skillet and like warm it up for just a bit. So it, it gets a little caramelization mm -hmm. on the rice. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Like it's just, it, it, it's, it's exactly what you didn't know that you needed. Like it's very comforting. Folks, just excuse me for a few minutes. I've got to take care of something. Um, Ms. Queeb, would you mind entertaining? You're doing a wonderful job, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yeah, when I ordered pizza, I'd be at Tuesday, you were overall. I, I tend to stick with the same, unfortunately, I stick with the same three places. Um, a lot of places in our area shut down, like a lot of the extra pizza places shut down because of the, the panorama. Um, and so I generally like... Queeb doesn't eat a lot of food. Like he's he's not like he doesn't eat a lot of food. Normally, like if this were a few years ago, then I would absolutely get like he could get a pizza, I would get a, a pizza, we'd both get like large as max out on toppings. Kind of like what we did the other night. However, we did that. My pizza from the other night is gone. He still has two thirds of his pizza from the other night still in there. So I'll actually throw those away um, tonight with the, the trash, just so we have the room to put the, the current pizza in there. He just doesn't eat that much, which is weird. At our hut, the large hand tosses are better than the mediums. At some of them, I have noticed that this current one that we have in our area, I don't know why. Um, and this happens back home in uh, the last place that I lived in Texas. The nearest uh, Pizza Hut, like they're mediums. I don't know why. It's I don't know if it's because it's a medium and they put it in the oven for the same amount of time that they put a large. And then in addition, I'm asking for well done. So it, it has a little bit more crunch. Um, but it's like super good. It's like perfect, perfect amount plus... I don't need that much cheese. Like they're, they're not taking away all of the cheese. They're not even taking away. Like they're maybe taking away a third of the cheese, maybe a fourth of the amount of cheese. And with the addition of the extra sauce, it's just, it's a bomb. It's so good. Uh, he, eh, he's not necessarily a nibbler masa, but he will like, like, I'm a grazer. I'll eat all day if there's food. And that's, like, number one, growing up in the South. And two, eating my feels. That's what that is. And with him, he'll only eat when he's hungry. And if there isn't, like, like he will... He'll sometimes almost forget that he needs to eat until he starts feeling hunger pains. And then he'll go in the kitchen. And if there's nothing already made, he'll be like, ah, oh, salad, uh, this pre-made sandwich in the fridge, a uh, bowl of cereal. And if it's not already made, if it can't be made in five minutes by me, then he will not eat it. And he'll just like grab a handful of chips. Like he's more of a convenience eater than anything. It might be because there's more weight to distribute, so it might be stressed more. Maybe. That is a good point, Krona. I'm telling you, like, I, I told you guys the other day, like, um, Mr. Gems, baller pizza. It's like, it's so good. It's so damn good. 
um, I think it was like a, a similar similar principle that they they do cook it a little bit longer. They don't add as much cheese. I think the downfall is the cheese. That is, in my opinion, as someone who's lactose intolerant, who has all but completely phased cheese out of her entire diet. That is that is my opinion. Please don't hate me. Uh, his cereal of choice, largess, is right now it's Cocoa Pebbles, but I believe we are coming to the end of the Cocoa Pebbles era. He normally goes through a couple of months of phases of different food, and then he'll phase out into something else. Um, before that, it was uh, Frosted Flakes, which Frosted Flakes and Captain Crunch are usually mine. Basic bitch Captain Crunch, none of this fancy shit. Get the fuck out of here with the peanut butter Captain Crunch, with the Crunch Berries. Like, no, 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 no. Back the fuck up. Regular Captain Crunch. Regular Frosted Flakes. Don't get fancy. Those are both bomb. Absolutely. I've heard about the Crave cereal. I've never had it, but it's good to know that someone does think about it. It's good. I'll check it out. I'm always looking for, like, something else to add to it. I think your name is Danny S. Or Danny. If I can call you Danny. I introduced him to Honey Smacks, and he's like, it's so sweet. I'm like, I know, right? It's so super good. <laughs> he's like, no, 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 it's so sweet. It, like, almost hurts my teeth. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine being, like, a kid, and you're not allowed to have, like, sweet cereal, and then all of a sudden, like, you're allowed to get a box of Honey Smacks, and then you have some. <laughs> Although, I will say, the current recipe for the... I want to say... At least the last 15 years, they have changed it from the recipe from when, um, from like uh, the 90s. It is a different recipe. I hate trying to use the trackpad to scroll up and chat when like two of the fingers I'm using have band-aids on them. And I'm like, why isn't it working? Because. Masa, like... To be honest, I think being lactose intolerant is, has been a superpower of mine because uh, it cut down on my... I had, like, I get eczema on my fingers and on my legs, and it drastically cut that down. It also helped clear up my face. And oddly enough, I stopped getting as many migraines. I still get them, but I get maybe 5% as much as I used to. And I my stomach doesn't feel so terrible. I hate Grandpa cereal. All brand feels good. Ah, oh. Arara. I think I, have I. Ha I think I've had all brand. It's not bad. Like it. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's definitely a vibe. <laughs> like you, you kind of have to be in the mood for it. It's not like you walk in the kitchen like, oh, what do I eat? Mm, I'll eat some all brand. It's not like that. Like you, you have to actually crave it. And then it's good. Honey Bunches of Oats with almonds. He's actually had those. I think he liked them, but with me, if I like something, I, I'll eat it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is good. And I'll, I'll, you know, slip it into the rotation. If he doesn't do that, he'll eat it once. He's like, yeah, it was good. And that's it. It's like, what? You said it was good. He's like, yeah, it was, it was good. It was. <laughs> Even I take the cheese off pizza, I have issues actually ingest some of the cheese from Domino's. Um, at one point, Masa, the cheese from Domino's was not cheese. I don't know if they've converted to 100% real, quote unquote, real American cheese or whatever, but it used to not be cheese. And I was able to eat it. They may have changed that though. Fruity Pebbles, super good. Um, Kind of a little in the same category as all brand. Like, you kind of have to be in the mood for it. That and Fruit Loops, although I will say Fruit Loops are probably, like, preferable above Fruity Pebbles just because they don't get as soggy as fast. However, I eat my cereal completely, like, oddball. Um, I don't like my cereal to get soggy, so what I'll do... You can laugh at me. I'm totally cool with it, man. I know. I'll get a small cereal bowl and fill it halfway with milk. And then I get a like a plastic tumbler cup and I fill that with cereal 
and I'll sprinkle some of the cereal into the bowl, like a spoonful or two, and I'll eat that just so I can preserve the integrity of the cereal so I can keep it as crunchy and as fresh as possible. I also have to do that because as a matriarch of this family, I have come to find out that most most of the entities in this family can't do anything unless I'm actually eating something, at which point they pull my attention away and then I get like a bowl of soggy cereal. So I just like, you know, do that. Krona, I actually prefer to eat out of a out of a chunky mug, just so I can kind of like loop my thumb through it because I'm kind of klutzy, um, and my hands shake a bit. Also, I've had way too many incidents where I'm holding a bowl, and my dog has jumped into my lap and it goes everywhere. So you know, lesson learned. Aurora says not being allowed something as a surefire of having a problem binging it as an adult. One of the things that I had a huge problem with was ice cream because I wasn't allowed to have ice cream. Well, frankly, we couldn't afford ice cream. We could only afford like particular ice creams at like when we had an, a small overflow of cash and it was always store brand, but it was always the brand that my mother wanted, which by the way is the ice cream that I prefer, butter pecan or like pralines and cream from Bluebell. Um, but that is something where I had trouble reconciling that. Like, wait a second, I have monies now. I can spend monies on ice cream and I can eat ice cream for breakfast. And that was like a whole thing that I had to learn about. Ask McQueen about wheat bix That sounds very familiar, Arch. Um, I will find out though. Like I'm no doubt he he's gonna go off about it. Dunno, but the cheese from Domino's give me little to no issues if I order light. I think that might be the issue, Masse. Um, if you're interested, you can check it out. Of those the big pizza places, I do believe it is Domino's that was or currently is like they do not have real cheese, it's fake cheese which is why a lot of people are able to digest it. I'm not sure if it's Domino's or if it's P... Maybe it's Pizza Hut? I don't know. But it's one of the big three. Cereal F cup of strat, because you know you're about to drink all the cereal milk at the end. Anything pecan sounds so boomer to me. It does. It does. They... Out here in California, it's very hard to find anything that, like... Like, they have butter pecan. Like, apparently, they're like, Oh, you have butter pecan? That's fine. Pralines and cream, though, like pecans and praline or pralines and cream is where it's at. It's so good. Like, it's basically like having ice cream and candy. They don't make it. It's not a, a West Coast thing. Like, I'm sure you can go on, on an adventure for it, but you can't really find any. And th that is absolutely, like, just something I just kind of mourn. I'm like, oh, my God. Junko, you have to make a, a, a peace treaty with the spiders. That's what I did. Like, I'm not joking. I made a peace treaty with the spiders. You got to tell them, like, this is my space. I don't want to look at you. It's a whole thing. Like, now we have spiders. Granted, I meditated a lot and kind of came to that conclusion, but it helps. I just I have a do the dish after eating cook. That's actually really smart. Um... If I could get Queeb on board with something like that, that would actually be very handy. That would be super handy. I don't know if that would, that would ever be the case. But I have, um, thanks to TikTok, which I know everybody hates, I have implemented the dishpan solution in the kitchen, and it has helped dramatically. Krona, thank you so much for subbing Aurora. Uh, Aurora, am I saying your name right? Please correct me. Thank you very much, Corona. That is a super cool of you. But yeah, like with, um, so what you do is instead of putting dishes in your sink, you put one of those dish pan buckets in your sink and then you put, the, like you rinse off the dish in the other side and then you put the dish in the dish pan. That way, whenever you need to use the sink, you can lift up the dish pan out of the sink and set it on the counter. So I started doing that and my hatred for doing the dishes, which has been like a lifelong thing, 
has gone down easily by 50%. However, I cook a lot. I have to cook Zoe's food because she's still doing her funky food thing where she's not going to eat dry food or even wet dog food. Um, so yeah, so I cook a lot and, um, but right now it's, it's totally working. Pecans and things is one of the few good things, Boomer. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. Um, I want to say there's like a, what was that? Rite Aid. Rite Aid has an ice cream, right? Like it's not all of them, but some of them still have ice cream. They have a, a butter pecan brand or a, a kind. It's either butter pecan or pralines and cream. It's super good. Um, it's one of the better ones. Like for real, it, it's, we can go on a journey about the butter pecan bullshit and like which brands it tastes more like pecans and which it tastes more like rum. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I had a, I had a random queeb appear. You know how it is. Pecan pie, Aurora, is... It's heavenly. It, it is, it is God-tier. It is wonderful and amazing and beautiful. And some of the best desserts I've ever had has been like a homemade... Uh bourbon chocolate pecan pie with uh homemade vanilla ice cream like in the pie is like it's like fresh out of the oven like it's just it's just so good it, it's it's so good please say thank you to the boomers who created that because that's aurora is absolutely a cereal cup eater so that's good hashtag cereal cup eaters we're going to beat out the hashtag round number gang and the hashtag powder number gang. Spiders are just eating your bugs or many times they are starving, looking to escape and need your help. That and then like spiritually, metaphysically, whatever you want to call it, 
supposedly when there's an abundance of spiders, you have an abundance of good things in your life because the spiders are keeping the bad stuff out, not just like bugs, but like negativity, supposedly. And Aurora, thank you so much for gifting to um, to Trent the Gamer. Greatly appreciate it. Corona, they do. Eh. So out here, I haven't seen it, but it's it's pretty big in um, in Texas, especially with uh, Bluebell. Not my thing, uh, just because I don't eat uh, fruit. Like it, like I don't eat fruit for dessert to me, like, like fruit by itself, that is a dessert, but fruit with something like in ice cream or chocolate or whatever, it doesn't register to me. But the ice cream in the, thank you for putting it in the food channel. I appreciate it. Pecan pie. Boom. Boomers aren't bad. Boomers aren't bad. I mean, think of it this way. They covered up all of those beautiful hardwood floors with shitty-ass carpet, preserving them for us to use. So thank you, Boomers. Thank you. Hashtag cereal cup eaters. I've had a pecan pie with caramel filling. It was so good. I had one that was similar, and it wasn't necessarily a filling, but it, was, it had like a, a zigzag on top. It was like a chocolate and caramel um, drizzle. I hate that word, but drizzle. Um, Why do you hate that word? It's it, it, like like drizzle and bubble and and words like that. Like it just like it, it it's an irk, which is fine. Like I have a lot of them. What um, what did I miss? <clears throat> um, we were talking about favorite cereals. A largest wanted to know what you're currently eating now. We had a talk about uh, Honey Smacks, which you have had, you did not like. Honey Smacks, which one are they? It's the one with the frog on the box. Red box with a frog. And it was like the little bitty, it's like a puffed rice almost. But like that, that's a lie. It, it's- No, I, lo I love them. Are you kidding? It's, so no, you had them and They've changed the formula. I think you would have liked, really liked them before, but your opinion of them this last time was that they're too sweet and it was too much of like a generic sugar flavor and it didn't have any like flavor flavor. It was just like sugar. No, I love them. Like I promise you didn't. I promise you didn't. I threw away the box because you only had like a bowl and you're like, I'm done. Thanks for waiting, like, by the way. Um, of course. Appreciate it. No, we're all, look, we've been talking about food. We talked about eating cereal out of cups. We talked about cereal. We talked about ice cream. Like, we're good. We're good to go. Wheat Bix is great, but you do need sugar on Wheat Bix, in my opinion. You don't have to have that, um, but it is it is uh, one of those things. Sorry, folks, excuse me once more. I will, I will need to continue. This is, this is drama stuff going on. Hang on. Honey Bunches of Oats is, I like it. It's not, um, it's not my favorite, but it's like, it's like a, I was talking about earlier, like you're kind of in the kitchen, like, eh, what do I feel like? What do I feel like? Oh, I have that. Let me do that. And now everything's fine. It's just. It's kind of, it's something that could normally be processed off stream. However, when you're 24 days into a 30 day subathon stream and you're the only times that you're not on camera is when you're sleeping or you're in the bathroom, it's kind of hard to process stuff. So, you know, it's difficult. I'm the same way. Um, ever since starting to go on my, I hate saying spiritual journey, but spiritual journey, 
Um, I found that I feel the best when I don't dwell on drama. So I don't, I used to be like on all these like celebrity gossip forums, like on live journal and like, I was into it, man. I was into it. Like watching the, um, the keeping up with the Kardashians just because it was just so stupid and, and just watching things that were just drama and just stressful. And ever since I kind of started going through my thing, I'm like, mm. like, I don't, I don't care. Did you, and I have not yet, but then again, the computer that I will be using, I can't turn it on as long as, um, Queeb is running his setup because uh, high shitty electrical problems. Uh, it could potentially tank the stream. Uh, especially like during the day he sleeps, the stream is on and the AC is on. Generally at night I deal with the dogs and then I go to bed so it's not it's something I can deal with. But I am going to get TBC. I am getting it. I don't know if I'll get a package. I, eh, I probably will. I just don't know which one. I'm not sure if I will go with... Um, I know that I'll, I will play Classic, but I don't know if... So, people who don't play WoW, right now there is a retail WoW, which is like the mainstream World of Warcraft. And then a few years ago, they released a for lack of a better word, a rollback version. So you still pay your membership, your 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 subscription fee every month, but you technically get access to two games, the retail version of WoW, and then the, uh, the bare bones version of WoW that's like several generations old that um, a lot of people are just very fond with. So that version is now getting slowly scaled up, like they're adding an expansion do that and bbc which is the burning crusade that was actually the very first that was like my introduction to world of warcraft like i have such fond fucking memories of it like just running through ghost lands and being scared to death of, of this like big monster that's just like strolling around and like stomping his name stitches um and then hitting 40 and being able to like kill him and then going back when i was 16 80 and like one-shotting him it was just like so satisfying i loved it um, I, I'm kind of scared that if I pay the membership, the, I keep calling it membership, the subscription fee for classic. And then, you know, I'm, I still get retail version for free. I'm kind of scared. I will start playing retail again. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Like my, my tune is like beautiful. She has art. Like if I could look like an eight foot tall purple night elf with like long teal colored hair with like leaves and, and my, my, like I have an astral form because I'm a druid. Like I'm, I'm like a boomkin. And instead of looking like a fucking like owl creature from hell, I just, I look like stars, which like, if I could look like stars all the time, I would, but that's neither here nor there. So I just want to play. That's all. I just want to play, man. Aries says, oh, I definitely... I had a friend who worked on reality shows that um, she was an editor. And she ultimately had to quit because it was very toxic. Like having to make people look like... Um, like they're... Like, like the situation that they're in is like dramatically horrible. I just had to run an extension cord out of my room for my AC. Yeah, we're we're dealing with that right now, Sergeant Keenizer. It's um it's a thing. But I'm honestly like I'm crossing fingers. I'm letting the universe handle it. That sounds very flighty, however, I'm really tapped out energetically. I just don't want to deal with like like finding a place out here in LA was awful just because there's such a housing shortage. And out there they it's a similar situation, but they just don't have that many houses. Like, like the land is more spread out. They just don't have as many. And then the houses they have aren't really kept up. So it's, you know, just dealing with it. Hold. Why am I thinking of something else? Hold on. Oh, 
you're thinking of the thing at Outland. Yes. When I could one shot those, I like it was momentary because then they nerfed them. But yeah, like those freaked me the hell out. Slack. Uh, I feel like you can't play WoW anymore. It would kill my stream. Eh, yeah, like I, I totally get that. If I ever played on a stream, it wouldn't be me streaming a game and then us talking and chatting. It would be us talking and chatting. And I just so happen to be playing a game at the time. And that game happens to be, you know, Burning Crusade Classic. Like, it wouldn't be the focus. It would it would be like, you know, you know how when you're in, you're in therapy or you send your kids to therapy and they color and they draw while they talk about serious stuff or even they're just shooting the shit, they just color. Like, it's just, it, it's, it's something to zen out to. All right. I know, right? Like the um, the height chart actually is like pretty fascinating for all the characters. I would hands down absolutely love to look like I'm only five six. I would love to be like five ten, five eleven, and just like be like built like fucking Wonder Woman and and not I d I don't need no man and just be like this strong, beautiful woman but I happen to have purple skin and long green hair. That's all I want. That's all I want. For to stare at a woman's ass versus a man personally, which is why I always choose me. Well, I... I... Ch I'm thinking. I usually play females, but my logic is because I am a female. I don't know why. Um, the only males that I have tried to play, I did a, um, oh, Jiminy, what is he? Um, uh, Blood Elf Demon Hunter. He has red hair and he, he is, he is beautiful. Like if I were a man, I would want to look like him. Like just, just fucking gorgeous and like stacked as fuck. And I got like my long red hair and women want to play with my hair. Like that would be me as a man. Um, and then I think I had another male in there, but yeah, I, I generally play females. Um, and then I, I tend to not actually talk verbally because I, you know, I don't want people to bother me. Like I don't, I used to get harassment just because I was a girl in my guild. I was one of the only ones, but this was like way back when. So I just kind of got in the habit of only being in guilds where they were cool with it. And they there was like a zero harassment policy. Malarthy, welcome back. Largest troll is... Trolls are vibes. Like, the female trolls are amazing. I love them. I also like the female orcs. I do hate that in this last expansion, they didn't... Re like... Here's the, th here's the thing. Now that I play as a druid, I will always be a druid, I think. But I want to be someone pretty as a druid. <laughs> like, I want to I want to be a pretty druid. Like, I purposely play as a female druid. Because I want, I want like, a pretty elemental kind of ethereal type thing. I want to be a blood elf druid. I know that won't happen. I don't, like... Now that the the Sunwell has like you know it, it's it's okie dokie stokey right now, I don't see why we can't go to being a druid. But that's fine if y'all want to fuck with me that way. It's cool. I'll deal with it. Current well, it's kind of black. Current yeah, it's. I kind of put my uh, my sub on hold like almost a, probably like right out a year ago. I've had one since like two thousand seven. Like late 2007, 2008. And I'm just... Eh, like it... I'm a casual... I'm considered a casual player. I don't play in a guild. And I don't do raids. Like I'm purely there for the content and the lore. And the, the latest expansions are not built for that. Like they try to push you into mythics. And they try to push you into doing all these fucking raids. And I don't want to raid that's stressful and when i play wow it's to 
literally zen the fuck out. Slackto, that's good to know. Like, it's... I've tried to stick with guilds that are just, like... Granted, this was before. I'm not in a guild right now. I got kicked because I... I, I, I canceled my sub. Um, yeah, like, the last guild I was in, I think it was Kings of Will. Um, the person who ran it I joined the guild when he was 13, like the, the, the owner of the guild, like the GM of the guild. 13. And the last year that I was in the guild, he was a sophomore in college. And you would think that there would be fuckery abound, right? No, like he, he was like, you know, we're not speaking to women like that. We're not speaking to other people like that. You need to fucking chill. I will kick you the fuck out of my guild. Like, foul mouth on this little kid he was like he was perfect though um but i completely understand like why why he kicks like it was getting to be like a very large guild um i would totally go back though i would absolutely go back if i could why is it that women want to play with men's hair that because we can't really play with our own and some of us who don't prefer the women the company of women so we don't get a chance to play with girls hair so it would just be nice to play with men's hair. Like for real, I used to, like, this was another lifetime ago. I was an assistant manager at a male strip club in Dallas. And we had someone work there who had like this long black hair and women like he would walk past, even if you were fully clothed, he just had like this long hair that he would he would braid i was about to say plait but he would like braid down his back and as he walked by women would just like grab his hair and just yank it as hard as they could and it got to a point where i had to teach him how to start uh putting his hair up in a bun on his head and like you know stick stick uh, like little bobby pins or like a stick in it to hold it there because women are just fascinated by it uh <gasps> Malganus, like that is an act. I actually never realized that about the orcs. Thank you. Like that. I'm a, I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't realize that. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning that. Uh, Aurora is, is correct, by the way, with the um, society standards and feminine expression. Like it's. There is a person on TikTok who's username i believe it's modern underscore warrior he is indigenous i can i i can't tell you where what tribe he's with i don't remember and i don't want to offend he has like this amazing long black hair and he constantly gets misgendered like on purpose in his chat and he'll or in his comments and he'll just you know ping up one of the comments and he's like the the way that you're speaking to me like you know, oh, he doesn't know if he's a girl or a boy. You're assuming that I find it to be offensive to be called a woman. And I don't. Like, he just doesn't give a shit. And it's it's so cool that someone like that just... He's flat, doesn't care. He's like, look, I have long hair. You're just jealous that my hair, let your hair can't grow this long. If you want to find me feminine, find me feminine. If you want to find me masculine, find me masculine. I don't care. And Malganus is correct. Like, Mythics, like, they're, eh, whatever, it's fine. I also end up um, being around people who, um, they're very, what's the word? Like, is studious the word I'm looking for? Like, they're, they're very serious about their gameplay, which means if someone like me, who's not used to running hardcore raids, I'm not used to that kind of fast action that I'm having to output constantly. They're not going to have time for my bullshit. Nor are they going to have time to help me get to that level. So the few times that I did run, it was just, I felt clunky. 
And it kind of emphasized, like, yeah, you probably should be playing Mythics. My colleague Adam Archeris. I am going to check out Elder Scrolls. It's definitely on the list. There's like a bunch of stuff I'm going to start checking out. It, it's not something that I can um, I can do right now. I can't. I literally can't even turn on my machine with the way that our house is set up. And generally speaking, if Queeb could turn off his machine, I could turn mine on and I could do it. But we're very we're being very cautious, making sure that the stream is not interrupted. Oh, they added pugs for the race. So you don't need to. So McQueeb secretly rocking that Fabio hair into the beanie. <laughs> if, if his hair looked like that, I would have burned that beanie long ago. Absolutely. I think Largest is correct with it being called Braid Finder. Largest, tell me more about um, Guild Wars. I've heard people talk about it, but I haven't heard any positive, like like overly positive or overly negative. The 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 reactions I've gotten have been like kind of midline. Okay, just checked on Queeb super quick. Um, for those of you who weren't um, on stream, when we have talked about it, Queeb's father died a few days ago. His father is back home in Australia, and Queeb is here in America, so um, it's not like you can just fly home. Um, also be, just because of his lifestyle like he he's a very quiet person they're not going to have a um a funeral and he's going to be cremated so it's making contact with his um his stepmother and making sure that she's okay and it's like everything's fine but it's they're kind of on a well they are on a different schedule than we are so like their days are just getting started around about now so it's always a it's always a thing. It doesn't help that Queeb starts his streams and then, you know, the stream's been going on for a little bit and then he finds out stuff. So it's, everything's fine. He's totally cool. He's just, you know, taking a, taking a moment, which is totally fine. Thank you, Aries. That's very nice. Um, yeah, like he's, he's fine. Um, he wasn't particularly close with his father and that's, my father died a few years ago, and that was something I had to go through. It was just kind of, I wasn't close to mine, and it's just kind of difficult to to navigate. You don't really like, you don't really know how you're, you know how society wants you to feel, but you don't know how you feel, just because it's a weird situation. Hello, Queeb. Hello, I'm back. So we're talking about uh, Burning Crusade, classic. And then they started mentioning uh, um, Elder Scrolls, which uh, a few people have asked me about if I was into playing, which I am. I think that sounds kind of cool. Yeah, so, right. And then uh, Guild Wars is what uh, Largess is telling me about. I, played, I used to play G GW too, yeah. So, yeah, we're just, we're just chatting. That's all. Um, what game are we playing tonight? Uh, we're back on Final Fantasy 15. Boy band. Getting the band back together. 
Um, but that's with my boyfriend, Ignis, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You can't mm -hmm. actually see any of their faces at the moment because they're all in power suits. And, uh, and our main man has, uh, our main man has a cup noodle head. <laughs> I saw that. Like, what the fuck? Malganis, uh, you absolutely can. There is a channel specifically for art. Feel free to post away. Go for it. We would love to see it. Um, if you're unsure of where something goes, feel free to dump it in, um, in whatever chat or whatever channel seems to work best. Uh, you can always put it in general. Go for it. People will tend to find Guild Wars 2 do not have enough roles and no clear goals, but they're both fine by me. I want to say that the game that I, I, I tried to play previously, and by previously I mean easily 10 years ago, was Warhammer. And I was, I was lured in by it. They're like, oh yeah, it's made by the people who made World of Warcraft. It's amazing. And like, I could make a witch hunter, which that was kind of cool, which is kind of odd. Odd choice now that I think about my lifestyle choices now. Um, but it, it like there's a lot more variety like I like that but I was much more I, I'm finding with these games I'm much more interested in building my character than, than actually like playing my character mm -hmm. like I don't want to do any quests I, I just want to make pretty people like could that be my job like I just I make people I make people and I sell people and you buy the people and then like that's your thing and you just like buy the people. Anyway, thank you for uh, for bearing with me. Sure. Black, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you uh, in a little bit, okay? Have a good night. Later, bud. I want to go back to... Um, I bought one of the Guild games forever ago and tried it. It was so lost and never figured anything out. Just gave up. I think, Ares, I think that was my initial impression of it, I believe. Look at, look at all your people, dude. My suits look don't at... recharge for two hours. What? My, well, every 24 hours they recharge. So at the moment they're just, it's just like a little bit of extra armor, maybe, maybe nothing at all. But when this is, uh, when they're powered up, they make us virtually invincible for a little while. It's pretty cool. You know what they look like? The, the alien in, in the one movie? More information? The prawn movie. The what? The fucking, the fucking prawn movie. District nine. Yes. I don't yeah, see like, it. I do. I totally do. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> My no, wife, ladies something... and gentlemen. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's something about the way that their their helmet and their 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 pauldrons look. You know. I wish I could run around with a cup noodle thing on my head. You absolutely can. What what's stopping you? Well, my head's not that 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 small. No, nope. and uh, nope. or the cup Sorry. noodle is too. What? What's stopping you? My head isn't small. I don't understand the question. Your head doesn't Am have I... to be small. I don't. Plus, wanna... you have a perfect I... size head. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think I think you could pull it off. I, I absolutely kidding. think you could pull it off. I'll do my best. City of Heroes character customization wants to know your location. Why? I used to play Mal City RP? of Heroes. I've I've played all the MMOs. Why Why do they need to know where I be? Are they Are they going to judge me on where where I live? Like, why do they want to know? That's why I love this mobile game I play. It's very much about building stats and traits. There's battles, but once you complete the battle, you repeat it over and over without actually doing the battle. That sounds pretty cool, Ares. 
Uh, Sergeant Keenicer says, I hope there would be a sequel to that. Large as I just see Noodle Cup. Ready for more? You bet. Krona, Let's thank you so much for joining us. That was like super cool of you um, to join us and gift some subs. Uh, we will absolutely see you later. Thank you, dude. Take it easy. Alganis, thank you for posting. I will um, I will check that out whenever I jump off here in a few to go deal with the pterodactyl. Oh, it's royal size cup noodle. My bad. I love how you... Well, I... I, I come from a military family. I know how important titles are. They work very hard for their rank. I don't want to offend them. Regardless of my... This sounds very rehearsed. Regardless of my feelings of the current military situation for my country, that does not mean that I do not respect the men and women who, who uh, give their lives to protect us and make sure that we have the ability to bitch and moan about our, um, our country. So I do want to show support. I, I call him Sergeant Kenai Sir. I, I will always do that because he has the word sergeant in his username. He, he could be like some rando dude who works at the stop and go. You know what I mean? Like he could just work at stop and go and he just thought sergeant was like cool or some shit, but I'm still going to call him Sergeant Kenai, sir. We need to get Sergeant Kenai a cup noodle head. He does. Be a nice Absolutely. Change of base. Uh, Avalon Strife says stream description is incorrect. Hello, by the way. Hello, Avalon. How oh, are already, you? already fixed. Already fixed. Fantastic. Huh. The city of heroes character customization second to none. Someone was saying there's some other better character customization, and city of heroes is just like get on my level. See, in theory, that sounds amazing. There was a Japanese MMO came out in the last couple of years and someone made themselves in it and it wasn't it wasn't like a close representation it was this person identical to what they look like IRL um all I, I think guess... all we ever saw was was the um like the the short little video for it I, 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 I don't currently like the way I look because I deal with body dysmorphia. So to me, I would be like, Ugh! like just seeing myself. But I mean, if they're cool with seeing themselves, I think that's pretty bitchin'. Oh, look at these things. They look peaceful. By the way, I love Sergeant Keenister and Stephanie's rapport in the chat because it's similar to how we razz each other. It's very comforting. It's very homey. Now, Ares wants to be called Sir as well. Wait, is it Ares or Ares? I've, I've been saying Ares, like, like, like the god, Ares, right? Am I wrong? I, I, I always get people's name wrong. I will absolutely call you Sergeant Ares Affair, sir, if, if you would like, absolutely. Next TikTok video, Cup Noodle Head. That requires artistic talent. I, want, uh, I wonder if you can... Can you Google search that for me real quick? Just please before you go out. What am I Googling? How, a DIY Noodle Cup Head? No, buy an official one from Square Enix. I guarantee you it's got to be there. Oh, settle down with the automatic weapon fire. Okay, let's try adding square Enix. Or just Final Fantasy 15 cup noodle head for sale. Up noodle. No, I was talking about the hat in the game. No. No? But... Gotta be. We live down the street from a Michaels and a Hobby Lobby, girl. Get out your glue gun. No, we don't go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> we do not go to Hobby Lobby. Well, 
We do, but then we use their 40% off coupons and we buy things to make witchy things with because that would make them ultimately very angry. How do you guys feel about LGBTQ? What the <laughs> fuck? Like, what the fuck was that shit? Hey, hey, Queep. Queep, Queep, Queep. I have a question. Hey, Queep. I have a question. What do you, what do you think about LGBTQ? Like, I, like what? I hate it. <laughs> What a dickhead. I hate everybody. Like, what the fuck? You... I'm sorry, but if you have, like, like, what was his name? It was, like, Jake Jake Paul is my dad 12. Yeah. If you have the word Jake Paul and a number in your name, and the number's probably under, you know, 15. I don't know, babe. What happened if, uh, are. what happened if, if, uh, 11 other people had already taken that name? So you're saying that there, there is a Jake Paul is my dad seven running around? Is that your logic? I think you're incorrect. Don't what you do? Why are you killing the people? Why are you killing these dudes? They attack me first. Fuck him, dude! Let them kill you. They don't mean no harms. Well, they're attacking me. It might be mating season, and I walked into their territory. <laughs> Aurora Still, they said, could be nice and talk about it. Aurora said, said he hated LGBTQ while killing a gazelle, a majestic beast. Malgana said, damn LGBT giraffe. <laughs> For real, like, I, I, oh God, like, I wish I would have screenshot his comment and put it on a t-shirt. You can go back like it, to the, you can view it. But it's crossed it. out, isn't it? Type slash user and then his username. Okay. Slash user. Jake Paul is my Well, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, speaking of, made $20 million tonight. Good for him. Oh, his account was created two well, hours ago. It. Time to make another delivery. Big surprise. King. <laughs> you know what Jake Paul didn't make tonight? A different. A different. <laughs> the more you. The least know. he could do is sub to my channel, right? Mm-hmm. The very least. I mean, if Jake Paul's your dad, then, you know, what, what's up? Aurora said, oh my god, he could be any one of us. I, so I, guess... I find that really hard to believe. <laughs> I know I know, it's a, a joke, but... Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, nobody in this said... room would waste their time with that bullshit. Malarkey said, I guess what I'm hearing is we should gay up the chat. We should absolutely. <laughs> and we're playing the perfect game for it, so. Oh my god. You could try going to bed at a decent hour. Also, there's a Final Fantasy add on that you can set to highlight accounts under X hours of age. Oh, a Twitch plugin. Mmm. Yeah. That's interesting. It probably wouldn't work on... It would work on, like, my my regular Twitch chat, but it wouldn't work on my um, built-in thing for OBS. Gotcha. Any Gladio Simpson chat? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I miss Tumblr. Like I'm I miss the golden era of Tumblr. Like it was just it was perfect. Not just not just for the prawn, but like it was perfect. Just perfect. I've seen some of the sickest burns from Tumblr. Mm -hmm. Like people are really clever on that mm -hmm. on that app. They did not give a fuck. Like one of the one of the usernames I followed it was like, what was it? It was like totally Beautiful not day. Agent Poulsen. 
I think that's what it was. Totally not Agent Coulson. And and then there was like a, a, a companion one called like yeah fuck yeah Agent Phil Coulson. And all it is like cut it out, man. For the most part, like once once Agents of Shield started up, then it just converted to Agents of Shield. But previous to that it was like literally sick burn after sick burn after sick burn after sick burn it was just like beautiful it was art they haven't ended secretly <laughs> there's a uh, there's one that i really appreciate um where it um you know like superhero poses on comic book covers and how women are always Oh, you're their talking bodies about the are, Hawkeye thing, yes, right? Yep, yes, yep. I love it. It's their bodies beautiful. are distorted and, and looks really weird to mm -hmm. accentuate certain features. Um, they're like, just replace the the woman with uh, Hawkeye. With Hawkeye. And just Give to see if it's it's kind of okay. And no, it's usually not. No, sometimes it's just fucking awful. Malarthy, those are some of the most beautiful emotes I've ever seen. And to everyone putting a fan on the uh, Queeb emotes, I love you. I will put you in the will. It's a pride, pride fan. I love you. Is you a unicorn? A pride unicorn? What? Well, that's the last thing that we needed to say, to be honest. Look at it. It's on my head. <laughs> it is on your head. Look at Beast Hunter's mess. <laughs> hey, yo, your boy is back with a little more beer. <laughs> I need to screenshot that real quick. Oh, I'm screenshotting it right now. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. I love you, Beast Hunter. I love you. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god, look at the, the tiny fan that Ubiquitous just posted. It's so little. It's, it's like it's like a nose piercing. Did <laughs> you miss Queen? <laughs> I don't know why people choose to get drunk and come into this stream. Although, I mean, I guess I don't know how it is with just you, but with me, I laugh over fucking everything. Is that a rune in the middle of the steering wheel? You would probably know better than me. That is a room. Is the steering wheel the right way up? Yeah. This the car is called the Regalia. Um, uh, Final Fantasy Regalia room. Hexatheon, y'all. Algis rune. Yes. Uh, I am I am very familiar with that. That is painted on all of our windows. Gotta protect yourself from the bad shit. Jiggly, thank you so much for joining us. It's super cool of you. Avalon says, I think it's just cho a chocobo. chocobo it could be. It could be legit. It could be. Legit. It could be. <laughs> Well, let's let's see if we can work this out. Um, can we get a detailed view of the interior? Not really, right? Oh, first person view. Let's go manual. Water. I hate when websites try to block me out because I have a a, a thing like a, like a blocker. Fuck you. Then you just don't visit the website. Easy. Yeah. Problem solved. Okay, so that's talking about rune stones. I'm talking about like on the car. Car steering wheel room. Designing the car in Final Fantasy 15. Oh, that, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. But it doesn't include room. Oh, what did I fast travel for, idiot? I'm not concerned, idiot. Let's head on out. I don't know, but if I asked on Twitter, people would like have it figured out in like two seconds. 
Those people are nerds. We'll just look up an, an algae's rune and then... Well, I, I, it is. That's what it is. What does that mean? What is... It's protection, right? Yes, it is. I can read your definition if you would like. Yeah, go ahead. Because it's in Isaac too, and it gives you massive it, uh, protection in that. It depicts a person with arms upraised, elk's antlers, or a representation of the Norse guard god Heimdall, who holds his sword in one hand and his horn in the other, guarding the divine realm of Asgard. In the old Germanic languages, Algis means defense or protection. It's pronounced Algis. There's a few ways to pronounce it. There's Algis, there's Algis, there's Alwiz, Elhaz. Like, it it depends on how, how like, accurate you want to get and how, like, you know, you go give them hell. the, uh, we'll the da, 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 da. it's about divinity, higher self, state of listening, protection, safety, spirituality, divine connection with the gods, awakening, higher life, protection, or hidden danger. Consumption by divine forces, loss of the divine link, etc. Me drinking beer? No, it's it's root beer. It is it is never beer. It will never be beer. Uh, we we don't drink. No, we're not drinkers. We have a cabinet full of liquor, and we don't drink it. Once we're in, we launch our ambush. <laughs> our chair says, "Always is my favorite." In, crushing the enemy from both. The sides. person that I heard say it and I tend to stick with they say Algiz um and I'm just I'm used to hearing it said that way regardless of how accurate it is so I tend to go with that I just um I just hear Cobalt Streak say jizz me daddy I'll jizz me um, daddy <laughs> lightning thank you it is it is a wonderful hat we actually just tried to find a, a real one to buy and it doesn't exist yet it has to it i'm i refuse to believe you know that what? i refuse I'm, I'm well hold on i'm going to youtube See free add on, free add on, noodle cup ending, like Final Fantasy cup noodles, but no one like makes a hat of it. Which I've already told you that I want to turn the um, I want to turn my office at the new place into like a like my own little sanctuary and have like a craft table in there. So maybe that's the first uh, craft that we make. We make you a cup noodle hat. Okay. But you have to wear it on stream if I make it. Duh. <laughs> would it replace the beanie? Would, would there no longer be a beanie as long as there is a new, uh, cup Stop. noodle? It would replace the beanie for one stream. Ugh, fine. Beast Hunter, I think you would wear anything right about now. <laughs> you're feeling good. And I'm, I love you for it. I'm, I'm glad that you're having a good moment. Right? Lightning, I absolutely do not. However, I follow... Um, well, I recently started following a bunch of people who do, like, foam craft on YouTube. Like, they make... Uh, They're amazing. Like, Some of the shit I, they make looks fucking real. Like, it's made out of I, metal. I feel like an idiot, but simultaneously, I'm like, I could do that. Like, I, I can, I can do that. Well, you that. watch him do it, and obviously, yeah. practice is a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm out. I'm in trouble. But yeah, like, like I've seen someone make a, a beer. Where they, like, I don't know. I'm from Texas, we call them koozies, like a beer koozie. Yep. But they made it look like a, a a large tankard from like World of Warcraft. Oh, I know exactly the one you're talking about. I think. Yeah, like like if he could make that, I could absolutely make a cup noodle hat. Beast Hunter says, speaking of noodles, he's gonna make some ramen. 
I have no idea how to spell it. I I think it's like C O O Z I E. That's how I've seen it. But you know, fucking knows. What do we call them in Australia? Stubby holder. Oh, that's cute. But a stubby is a short bottle. It's like you you know the you know the um. Like the ginger beer bottles. Yes. Yeah, it's that size. Yep. Oh, that's cute. I really like those bottles. But then again, I am someone who who likes tiny things, and I I like collecting bottles and jars and cups that I can pretend that I'm going to put something in, but I never do. At least I can own up to it. Archero says, I mean, if McQueeb takes off the beanie, it would be like if Zora removes his mask. Total anonymity. Like, who's this bearded guy? No, no, no. I would purposely design the cup noodle hat to go where the beanie went so you could not see anything. Maybe, maybe even have it go a little bit further down on, on his face. It would be perfect. Sergeant Keen, I sir, thank you for the uh, perfect ramen beanie solution in the Discord. I appreciate it. I feel like I'm running around in circles here. Big surprise. Aggr Aggressive walrus. Hi, hello. Thank you for joining us. We were just talking about Donkey Jim accidentally timing you out for a bit yesterday. Fucking deserved it, too. <laughs> Stop. I have no idea. I didn't even notice that. I was we're trying okay. not to pay attention to, uh, to chat yesterday. Just a heads up, Aggressive Walrus. Beast Hunter has had a few drinks. He's entertaining chat. Just... He, he's feeling good, like he should. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Not oh, yeah, like, Marshall. aggressive Stacey walrus. He was like, all right on your end. what is that, that saying? It's like, in, he's in his cups. Is that is that it? Us. He's in his cups? Thanks to you, yeah, aggressive was definitely attention. in his cups yesterday. He's in his cups? He's in his cups. Never heard that before in my life. Stay right Hold on, you I'll are. find it. Well, well, if, it if someone is in their cups, immortal. they are drunk. He talked so too freely when, system, as was too often the case, he was in his cups. It appeared in one of the apocryphal books of the Bible. Um, and when they are in their cups, they forget their love, both to friends and brethren. Deep in the cup. No, I never heard it. Smashed, I've heard. <laughs> Sozzled, even. Zuzzled. Deep in, I haven't heard that one. But I think the reason why I've heard of In His Cups is because regardless of what I've done the last 20 years, I spent the first 20 years of my life reading everything. And I was like one of those little kids that just soaked up everything that I read. And I'm sure I read it somewhere. I've heard it off his head. Got too many windows open. Yes, close that out. I will pull up the birth chart later. Alright. I need to go take care of the child. He has not woken up yet, which means I need to wake him up. So I can potentially get back to bed like by one. Um Mr. McQueeb, when would you like me to release you? Oh, whenever you get up, it's fine. Um, got a got a lot going on in my brain right now, so I'm pretty sure I'll be active. Okay. Sergeant Keen, I saw I just saw cup noodle beanie. It's perfect. I don't think that's something Queeb would ever wear unless we made another jaunt out to um, the Grand Canyon at uh, three, four o'clock in the morning, where he locks me out of the car. But that's not here right You've never told that story, have you? I have not. Would you guys like to hear that story before I, I go relieve uh, the uh, pterodactyl? I will tell you. Um, Queeb and I, uh, we got together very quickly after meeting. Like, we literally, we started speaking on the phone on December 9th. We met in person in Vegas January 5th. And then... January 25th, I flew back out to Las Vegas to um, 
to get him and he would have packed up all of his stuff and we were going to drive him out to Florida where we, like I had moved from Dallas, he was going to move from LA. Beast Hunter, that is our dog, Red Lord. He is a pterodactyl because he screeches constantly. Like you will, if you hear a screech in the background, it's not me, it's him. And he is ridiculous. Um, so he, we, we made a couple of stops on the way. Uh, like we stopped to see the, the meteor crater. Like, oh, that was, was cool, like, yeah. It was really badass. Um, and he wanted to see the Grand Canyon. However, the closest hotel that we could find was um, Twin Arrows, which is in like the next town over. So at like literally three o'clock in the morning, this really nice, man, really nice hotel. Well, I mean, it, the restaurant sucked because they they gave me hot dog franks instead of breakfast sausages. But I understand how you could say that it was really good. Um, he woke me up three o'clock in the morning. It was like 15 degrees when we went out to the car and we like put on layers. Impressive. Seeing you in action drove put up mind at ease. to the Grand it's Canyon, which it's like worry anymore. It, it, it's it's like a truck in its own. Like until by the time, time that you get to the road that you have care. to turn off into to get to the Grand Canyon, it's like a it's still a good 20 minutes, especially when there's like, you know. No, whatever. We get up there, we we pay to go in, and we just like drive. By this time, it's like 19 degrees because he want. Not only does he want to see the Grand Canyon, he wants to see the sunrise <laughs> of the Grand Canyon. Apparently, I made a mistake. Sunset is a better time to go, but that's neither here nor there. That's fine. Certainly not relevant for this conversation. It's so bad no, oh no, it's not. You get used to it. Still so we, we get there. Um, to do. <sighs> yeah. I Look like up, my body is shutting down started. because I am so cold. Like it my, is, I have. No, yeah. I, I have no feelings in my hands. Like it wasn't something that we had adequately prepared for, and I just, I get very hot and I get very cold like very easily. So it's, it you know it, it's me being like you know generic white bread bullshit um we have a couple of the most beautiful photos of Queeb standing in front like on the grand canyon looking over it with the sunrise behind him and he looks magnificent and of course there's me who i fucking look like a goddamn like heated potato because every time that i even breathe i have to play the game is she drunk or is she part Irish because my face is fucking red all the time? So, so we have like a potato so pick of me death. and I, I feel awful, what whatever. Of? It's Your cool. Severe. He gets his photo. We start walking back to the car. Has absconded with it. We Find pass by two girls her. who are standing outside the of the railing the final piece. on the actual Grand Canyon itself we on ice using a selfie stick to take a photo of themselves and to this day we still joke we're the like i bet they fell to the bottom the key the key. i bet they their bodies haven't even been found Darwin is mad its finest. <laughs> like it was just stupid Nay, which by the way queeb kept getting out on the ice and i'm like Lord don't do Ravis. it don't don't do it the don't fucking do it he's like no it's fine and he would like back closer Lord to the Ravis. edge because he's an asshole on ice point. on ice so we're making our way back to the car we get to the car queeb this is my this is a fun fact queeb doesn't open my door for, for me and the oracle ever so glorious ever my crystal i want to throw my shoe at him every time he doesn't do it but that's a discussion for another day look out world Here so he Beast Hunter, I do not, um, she will I, will be. Be, I will be after the Sabathon is over, like within a couple of weeks from the day that it's over, just once I get my setup done. So we get back to the car, he gets in the driver's side first, he unlocks the car, and I go to open my door because my own boyfriend at the time, who won't open the door for me, 
locks the door. It's not that I locked it. I just didn't. You ever, you ever, you ever get in in the car and and? No, you can. No, no. This is my stream now. Shut up. He legitimately locked it. I was like, oh, where's it. the button? I can't find the button. Meanwhile, uh, my face is bright red. I am dying because I'm so cold. I cannot feel my hands. Like, here's how cold it was. My phone is always in a case. Queeb took his phone out of its case and his phone shut off because the battery The battery, battery, the battery froze, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's how cold it was. So this man, th this ass hat, tries to. Oh, I don't know how to open Hello? the door. Huh. I'm, yes. I am about to murder him. Like, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is wrong with you? No. And he finally lets me in. And he's laughing because that's who he is. He, he's constantly like joshing on me and Get doing better. pranks and one of these days it's gonna get him killed and you're gonna be like it's well it's just a I mean, prank bro that's gonna be like brother. that's gonna be it his his his, his last words were uh, what it was uh, say anything about babe me? i was just kidding that's gonna be it it took that's me so I long to warm up in the car no we went to eat at the world's most expensive mcdonald's oh my god what was it like we paid we 30 40 dollars we paid close to forty dollars for literally a few breakfast sandwiches. Sure. And they charge that because out. it is the yes. only restaurant, like the only McDonald's up there at the Grand Canyon. It was ridiculous. Like it didn't it didn't taste any better. It's not like, uh, you know it's not like specialty meat or anything. No, it was, it, was just, it was just what you get at normal McDonald's, except yeah, for it, was, it was tourist hotspot, and it was the only one around, and yeah, they could charge whatever they want. Yeah, so it was um, it was an experience. Queeb got to see the Grand Canyon. The photo that I took of Whoa, I, I took the photos. So, yeah. The photo of him standing in front of the sunrise is absolutely beautiful. I would love to one day, like, get it printed and framed and, like, hung in his office because it is beautiful. Um, I, again, Nothing quite I like a picture of myself in my own office. That's uh, Yes. Uh, that's how you know. I look like a potato, so I won't be hanging my photo. But, yeah. That's the story of the time that your, um, your bread lord and toast savior's father locked his girlfriend his then girlfriend future wife out of the car at six o'clock in the morning at the grand canyon in 19 degree weather it's pretty funny jack though <laughs> such an asshole why did i stay with you i i ask myself this every day <laughs> it, it's more like you know how they make those those tater tots that aren't tater tots they are like smashed tater tots. Hold they're on, like a little round a and they're squished. Well, That's what it looked like. Hey, I have a screenshot of myself when I was shit faced. The video that it came from was me complaining about dirty thing. Uh, the Nineteen degrees. To see, it is negative seven Celsius. Cold. Like just freezing. You were. Like yeah, like so I didn't even know. I I didn't know that that was a a quote unquote feature of the iPhone that it can shut down because the battery gets that cold. No, it's not. It's not a feature, babe. It's it's literally. I was using quotey. The yes, battery. I was using I was using quality fingers. Any phone um, would have done the same thing. If it was taken out of its uh, case, mine wasn't taken out of its case, and it was fine. Granted, oh, my yeah, phone was a potato, but still, I forget why you wanted me to take it out of the case. Was some we, I had an idea for a photo. I wanted to get it close to the ground or something. I can't remember.
potato gems or something. I can't remember that, but we they have, like they're... Have you heard of potato scallops? Or... Scalloped potatoes? No. Yes, we have those no, here. no, 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 no. We, in Australia, we call them potato scallops. Okay. There's a, a, a whole meme. It's like potato cakes versus potato scallops. Essentially, it's like thinly sliced and parboiled and then deep fried in batter. And... Oh, I'm looking. And apparently it's popular to search for the word Australia after it. Yeah. Fish and chip What is shop. the difference yep. between a potato cake and a potato scallop? Queensland, a scallop was a battered and fried slice of potato, and a potato cake was bubble and squeak, a fried patty of mixed vegetable mash. I don't know what any of that means, but there you go. What is a scallop called in Queensland? A revealing map shows that most Aussies call the delicacy a potato scallop, including Queensland, most of New South Wales, and Western Australia. Revealing map shows the different words Australians use. Oh, okay. Give, give me your map, girl. Give me your map. Bubble and squeak is um, an English term, not an Australian term. I mean, I'm sure we adopted it anyway. We adopt most please, things from there. Please look at the map. You want me to look uh, at the map? Obviously look in a, a new uh, hidden browser, whatever. Why? So, potato cake, potato fritter, potato scallop, or scallop. Apparently there's like one little area that calls it a scallop, like just a scallop. If you call potato scallop... So I'm, scallops, in, I'm in the green east coast side. Yeah. How close are you to the yellow? That's like, like, that's close to Victoria, nowhere near it. Okay. So there's a meme. If you call potato scallops potato cakes, you're just a shit bloke. I agree. I don't know what's going on. I'm just here. I'm just here for the food. Look, I'm fine with it being called a potato cake, even though that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but calling it a potato fritter is a crime against Australia, and you best believe ASIO is in close contact and will be notified at the drop of a hat if a potato fritter is ever used to describe a potato scallop. ASIO <laughs> is, is our, um, I guess, immigration. Are y'all bored? Do y'all just invent stuff to be pissed off about? Like I, I need I need relevance to this. Like, is this like Coke and soda and pop? Yes. Here, that's exactly what it is. Okay, that makes that makes a little sense. Ubiquitous is like that map is wrong. <laughs> what they show is a potato cake is a hash brown. I do love me some hash browns. Do you know? No, you didn't know because I don't talk about this. Um, you can tell I'm like I'm in the delirious mood. I like to get the um, the croissant breakfast sandwich, sausage breakfast sandwich from Jack in the Box, and it comes with a hash brown. If you put the hash brown on the sandwich with a tiny bit of ketchup, it tastes like heaven. Of course, I what, what me? Of course, I know that. I'm, I'm telling chat, ah. McQueen. Time to make a delivery. Don't I'm tired. I haven't even done the laundry. Did you tell him, did, did you tell him how I eat my burgers from McDonald's? Well, I told them that we both put fries on our burgers, and that's one of the things that you try to co-opt from me, like with the half Sprite, half orange juice bullshit. Don't, don't eat. Don't. No, that was my drink. I'm older than you by five months. We will not get into this on chat because you will lose. You will lose. Hashtag Team Nana. You will lose. Okay. Two people. Yep. Two people can do the same thing, and it's okay to exist at the same time doing the same thing. I promise it's okay. It's an actual thing you can buy? So I prefer pulp in my orange juice. She does not. Um, yeah, but it's uh, yeah. Being home homemade is better because then you can make it 
however you want. You can you can get the mixture just right. Look at the size of that thing. He's like notorious for walking into the kitchen when I'm making like a drink, like no, taking a can of Sprite and a can of yeah. orange Don't soda or like away. orange juice and pouring it in. He's like, oh, that looks real good. Be a shame if something would have happened to it. And he just he just stares at me with his oh, those big blue eyes, and I'm like, fine, take it. I want to colonize me. Roy says, "Me, me. I'm a pulpy boy." <laughs> Exo Random says, "The first time a friend introduced me to half orange juice, half milk. Indeed. I was eight and he was ten. I thought it was gross, but now I kind of like it." Doesn't it curdle instantly? What is this fascination with with people putting Not shit in milk? Right. Like nothing should be put in milk except maybe chocolate syrup or chocolate powder or like even strawberry <laughs> chocolate, amazing. like strawberry syrup or strawberry powder. If if you you swing that way, bro, I'm a hug. <laughs> Oreos, ma'am. No, I'm talking about like drinks. Like, uh, obviously, d dunk your Oreos, girl. Like, I, that is me. That is me. But it's like people pouring, pouring something into milk to drink it. Like, like, wh why, why? Oh, Milo. Fuck, I haven't had that in forever. Because that was a food face. The, the last can we had of it, I had to throw it out because it went bad. It never goes bad. It just goes from it goes from like normal to hard and even better. Stale, but it's amazing. Well, I'm still in the right because it was maybe a month or so before we dumped all of our belongings and moved to fucking Los Angeles in two cars with two dogs no, and two humans Frosty, little devils. but yes how dare i you still didn't eat it though you, you like like you go through your food phases very true because I, I get sick of the same thing over and over again yeah i drink orange body armor for potassium and i mix it with lime maqua recently super good like a potassium mimosa chop, chop. Also, rum goes well with milk. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, hi there, All of you, what? I kind of freaked out because I think I thought I forgot water in my instant ramen, but I got it too. Beast Hunter is going through it. He's going through it. Everybody, say a prayer and crush yourselves. Send good thoughts to Beast Hunter. He's having a moment. I have absolutely heard of black Russians and white Russians. However, since I don't normally drink, I occasionally drink, but I rarely drink. I didn't mention that. There's also, um, is it milk that's used in a Smith and Kern or cream? I forget. Like that used to be my, my drink for a hot minute. Like super good. Imperials above us! Thanks. But nobody knows how to make them. And they constantly have to look them up. So I'm like, fine. What's the drink? It's called a Smith and Kern. Never heard of it. Uh, it's like an old drink. Like it it's like it's like from the sixties or something. Hmm. Nowadays we make it with uh Okay, here it is. You make it with milk, Palua, and a splash yeah. of club soda, and then um, you, for garnish, you like crush up some hazelnuts and sprinkle them on the top, and it's like, it is divine. Like, it, it tastes like, it tastes like a, an adult version of a milkshake that doesn't have a lot of liquor in it. Right. Like, it, it just tastes like comfortable. House of Kentai, thank you so much for joining us. I'm actually about to skedaddle. I gotta go take care of the, um, the screech owl before he wakes back up. What's up, Kentai? How you doing, bud? Sergeant Keen, I love him some uh, black Russians and white Russians. You got all those arms at your disposal? Use them. Uh -huh. yeah. 
Orange juice and coconut doesn't curdle, and if both are sustainably harvested, it's good for the environment and the soul. Oh. Raspberry Smirnoff actually sounds delightful, even though I do not like raspberry or Smirnoff. Um, we're doing okay. I'm starting to like wind down energy wise. I took the sheets off the bed and I never washed them. I could taste this for you. Because I'm tired. I'm so fucking tired. So I may have to co opt some shit to make like find a seat and steal McQueed's blanket while I wash mine and then give yeah. him the fresh one or something. I don't know. Well, you know what? Figure it out. It's fine. I'm gonna go. I love you all. As, as Ozzy Osbourne would say in the most amazing reality show ever, the Osbourne. I love you all. I love you more than life itself. But you're all fucking mad. McQuaid, please behave. Yeah, I'll do my best. I will wake up when I wake up. And I will talk to you later. Beast Hunter, behave, sir. Behave. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Goodbye, my love. It's a lot of troopers. Giving me that XP though. Love that. Misbehave and delete the bot. Can you leave that open, babe? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. No, this does not have auto combat. This is where they sort of mixed it up. This is the... You could call it a precursor to 7. It's better though because... You don't really control your other dudes at all. Which is kind of nice. What's this guy upset for? Not like I'm... Slaying his entire family. Or her entire family. What? We got... Oh my god, that's a shitload of troopers. You couldn't have picked the worst time. I'll take care of them. Oh yeah, time to leave. giant cannon thing? That's dope. Oh yeah, that's cool. Very slow. Wow, that costs a lot of health to use. Prompto dead? Prompto's dead. Uh, we're in trouble. We might have to retreat here.
Oh, he's not dead. Someone brought him up. never miss except when you do why would they just drop a bunch of random troopers down here it's a bit weird i don't remember the random drop ships Oh, they're definitely looking. Yeah, we, we're enemies of, of whatever. Enemies of the state. But. I guess if you were flying overhead and you saw like a massive fight going on and people were using magic and guns and whatever, you'd be like, just drop a, a, a dozen troopers on them. Again? Try this. Wow, that was kind of good. Can't keep on like this. If this thing wasn't here, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. I just had to go and pick a fight. alive magitech engine it's close what does that mean a magitech engine oh another drop ship yep coming straight for me god damn it Magitech engine. Where's Cloud when you need him? Yep, Cloud or uh, hell, give me uh, give me Waka. Just make sure he doesn't talk. And it's becoming night, which means beasties will be coming out. Hey, yo, it's a Magitech engine, yeah? What? 
thing I need now. Ice peeled, mouth closed. Say your prayers. You're on fire today. What can I say? It's time. Yeah! 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 Hey! Oh, hey, yeah. Fabio! Don't miss! We're on the same page. Yeah! Put it in the books. It's Unso history now. kill for tooth. Yep, John DiMaggio. His name has come up so many times over the last uh, couple of weeks. See that you buy no more than we need. Sheesh. You my mother or something? Mum's the word. Welcome. There's only a limited amount of zombies, so hunt them down and kill them. Well, that's the thing, right? It There's 9 million... 9 million? 8, 7 million people on the planet? Billion? 7 billion people on the planet? You feeling alright? How about it? We'll see you around. Look at the size of that thing! Where do we sleep here? Oh, yeah, there's a little bed a symbol over here. We got a shop. Hell yeah. Hey there. Racing Stripes, Memories of Final Fantasy 3, Spider Silk, oh, Fishing Supplies. I'll buy the car stuff, I guess. Thank you for coming. Lacks the fantasy element. Well, that's where the the whole Magitech thing comes from, right? Like, it's more of a scientific view of a lot of the elemental stuff that usually goes on in these games. You ready to rumble, not? In King's Night? Oh, yeah. 1950, there was only two and a half billion humans. For real? Oh, I wonder what the next 70 years is going to look like. Jesus, that's a massive spike, huh? Uh, we need Prompto to start giving us AP for photographs. That'll be the next upgrade, I think. Because he's the only one that takes uh, photos all the time. Unless it's user taken photos only, but I'm not sure about that. Um... And I need to make a couple of bombs, place that with fire.
and lightning. Actually, who else has got lightning? I think I can equip someone else there. There we go. Exosuit has... Oh shit, they're up! He was the first person to wear it, but everybody else will be close as well. Recharge in 52 minutes. Okay. Snapshot. Take photos in battle up to five can be saved. Is that automatic or not? Uh, I'm not so sure. stats we got enhanced strength of each party member by the number of levels gained you go ahead and do that random selfies that's his his level up skill great Yo. Hi. Oh, we've got another quest there. Two quests, in fact. And an outpost. Oh, that's the Chocobo post. Right. Let's get in that car. And a fishing spot there as well. Everything in order. Yep. Is this like Far Cry? No, not even remotely. Far Cry 7 looks... Is it 7? 6? Six? 6. Looks good. Um... Not sure how I feel about the whole... I, there's a, a CD weapon. You, you load this disc player essentially with CDs and you can shoot the CDs. And it plays the Macarena. Looks like it does devastating damage though. I remember this bit. I remember this spot specifically. Nice weather. I can't remember why. I've reached a creature crossing. Wow. Where do you think they're all going? We could always follow them and find out. Okay. I will follow them. From a distance. What are they doing here? Huh. 
What's going on here? Oh, this one's no joke. That's not a threat. Giant toad. That's a giant toad. Oh shit. I'm dead. Not dead. Idiot, get out of the way. That is a long tongue, sir. Let nothing stand in your way. You've got my back. That wasn't even like a quest threat at all. So where are you guys going? I feel like there's some environmental storytelling here, but I'm not sure what's going on. did kill Kermit's sister, yes. The more difficult dishes you cook, the faster your skill will grow. Hey, it attacked me first. Not like I had a choice. Invisible wall, my favorite. Where is this? Oh boy, we are way off. How the hell do I get to that? Go back along this road, I guess. Have a great night, Beast Hunter. Take it easy, man. I wonder if the frog came out because it's raining or whether they always spawn here. The longer the distances you walk, the faster your survival skills will grow. Okay. Procurement point. This wall spreads for ages. Alright, see how far.
There's a road going down here. Okay. I seem to be headed in the right direction, maybe. Oh, come on, what? Dead end. Another one, another frog. Tread lightly. Shall we? Yeah. Here we are. Say your prayers. I'm taking such a beating. Is it the cup room, cup rum and head? How are we holding up? Getting by. How many times? Enough talk. Time for some action. Every time, it just instantly hits me to down to nothing. The odds are against us. Look at the range! This uh, crossbow cannon thing does not seem to be doing a good job. I need a place to... I don't know, a tree maybe? We gotta run. Fishing location here. I feel like there's a hunt here as well. Ah, uh, that thing. Let's not worry about that for now. someplace else. I don't want you boys scaring the fish. You're into fishing? Indeed I am. You too? Yeah, I fish whenever I can. Well then, a fellow fish nut. Come on, let me show you a good spot. I haven't seen you around these parts before. First time here? What gives it away? Something like that. Well, the name's Naveth. I've traveled the whole world just about, looking for new fishing. If you're as keen as you say, 
What do you say to a challenge? A challenge? The Crag Barramundi. Lurks in these waters. Catch him, and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I like your spirit, my boy. Crag Barramundi, huh? Huh. Thunderbomb, that might be what I need. Fishing looks good here. Is there a shop? No. No shop. <sighs> it's showtime. Craig Barramundi. Tidal Might Leviathan. Excuse me. Got one. Hmm, you've improved. Oh, it's so tiny. Well, it's a three pound fish. That's still, still pretty damn good. It's not what we need, no. We need the Barum, Barumundi. Catch. That's the one Navith was talking about? Yeah, that's a Crag Barramundi. Jesus right. Christ. 20 pound fish. Amazing. Uh, I'll catch one more. one <laughs> it's tiny a horned bluegill is a promise here's your prize you sure sure i'm sure you give me With a fishing lure, lure you'll be able to diversify reel in more kinds of fish and catching things you ain't caught before <laughs> end of the day that's what being an angler is all about you're still wet behind the ears <clears throat> you got potential Everything in order. A knife T right Tonberry lure. You're gonna try out that lure, right? Of course he is. Well, if you guys insist. In that case, you're in charge of finding dinner tonight. Actually, before we go, let's. That bit of dialogue Come makes out, me want to test the lure now. We might get something unique here. Huh. 
Nebula Salmon, Rainbow Trout, Lucinian Sea Bass. It is capable of some very big things. Okay. Is messing up my line. Ah, the line's gonna snap. Line's not gonna snap. You did good. Ah, uh, not. You can show a bit of emotion, you know. That's a nice fish. I don't even know if it's worth it. Just one more, and then be out of here. I do see an item on that little island right there. Oh, cool. we gotta check that out. Turn the rod toward the fish. Oh no. Hmm. You did good. Oh, we got it. I thought I lost my lure for a second then. An Alstor bass. Never played a full on fishing game. It's always been like mini games and stuff, but never like a proper one. Let's fish. Like a kid in a toy shop. Off we go. Yep. Oh no, the frog's back. Shit. Run past without it. No room Hitting for me error. if I get lucky. Please don't hit me. I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. Sure want to talk. Gotcha! Amethyst bracelet. Another giant beastie there. So what I did want to do is go back over here around to the right. Seems like there's some kind of outpost or something. Say your prayers. Oh, they're out this way. Huh. That thing, what is it? Just a water tower. Hey, base, what's going on, man? Oh no, I can do that. I can move my my camera over. Magitech engine, it's close. Oh no, it's a Magitech engine. This one's no joke. Shit, and a giant frog. Run. Size of them. I didn't know they made him that big. So, how do we take him on? Be careful. One mistake could be our last. It'd be nice if, like, so there was a game called Griftlands that came out a while back. How do you explain that? It's like a like a narrative adventure roguelike. I don't know. Hard to explain. But um, it had all of the elements, all of the UI elements could be moved around 
it was an accessibility feature, but it for streamers, it's really good stuff because then you can, I don't know, have all of whatever on the left hand side of the screen or whatever. It's in full release. Oh, really? What sees me? Another giant frog. Damn it. They're hard as hell. RPG deck builder. Yeah, kind of. Um, you did use cards, but it was like more, more direct as in the cards gave you advantages during combat or something. It, yeah, not, not a traditional deck builder, but it used elements from it. I got this. You just sit back and watch how it's done. I bet I could show you a thing or two. Well then, by all means. We're outnumbered. I propose we take them out one by one. How do I perform a link strike? Hell yeah! Okay, there's one. Didn't Jeez. just waste. What's up, Iggy? Mm. I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Now the green green bars are that's their skills, and then you can perform like finishers on those, which get you closer to the action and a little bit of damage extra. But it's not that's not a link strike. Yeah, link strikes are performed by your team members, and they do stuff based on what you do. But all I was doing was attacking. Is it evening already. Time flies when you're having fun. The last spell, Keen. I have no, not even heard of that. What is that? Timing your attack with theirs. Well, I was just mashing just then, so I don't. I don't actually know. Oh, that looks fucking dangerous. Immediately runs over to it. Are you kidding me? Level 58! Fucking run! It's like they are billions, but grid based tactics. They are billions. Doesn't, I mean, I've heard of the game, but I've never played it. Rather sultry. Yeah. Oh, so all you gotta do is parry. Okay. How about some light. Sounds good. Got it. Attacking an enemy from behind. Okay. Hmm. I don't like it being dark. Let's head back to the road. God, I can't see a damn thing. I need a ramp up. Just head back. Um, but 
better find shelter before we catch cold. We have a look at these. Good idea. They are billions. Looks like a city builder. And what's the other one called? The Last Spell. So like Clash of Can Clash of Clans? Very positive. An ambitious game with a million parameters to keep in mind. Our goal is to make the best roguelite tactical RPG. And to do that, player feedback will be the blah, 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 blah. Has Twitch integration? Negative review. Lots of good about the game and it's fun to play, but... So much is locked behind a mandatory grind that seems entirely unnecessarily and so poorly implemented that I cannot recommend this game as a whole. I'll, um, I'll keep an eye on it. Could be fun. Also looks like it requires a big brain, which I do not have. time hey hey you want to watch where you're going all right let's rest up it's bedtime it's such a different vibe this game it's like the dead or alive beach volleyball of Final Fantasy games Why can't I warp too? So unfair. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Hey, yes. Hi. Dissidia? This is a game I have not played. It's it's weird, though. It is very weird. Oh, my car is still way out where? <laughs> this is not an MMO, Ellie, no. This is a regular old game. Um, 11 and 14 are the two MMOs. Although 11 is... Is 11 still running? Oh. Let's... Let's go out here. Have we been here? We have not. Probably be a good idea to do that. Hell of a drive. Yes. Everything in order. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's. I remember liking it, but this is. It feels very. I, I can't explain it. 
just like like the music that was playing just then and the fact that the conversations you have it's very plasticky i i i don't know there's got to be a word for it but it's like a veneer on top of on top of the core gameplay but the gameplay isn't that compelling not not drawn out just it's it's more of the feeling of the game less less about the game but more about how i feel about it it's i don't know like i said it's very difficult for me to explain that man that's one funky looking mountain wouldn't want to pass up a shot of this can I? Everybody Persona. raves about Persona, right? All right. Let's get a little closer then. And I won't play Persona because of all the daytime crap where you have to talk to people and, and all that. So Nox, haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye. But the ramen head's just a DLC. How about more shots of Gladio? <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. Taking a walk on the wild side? Nothing like nature in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this is a this is see, this is a side quest to literally go to a vantage point so this dude can take photos. Knocked. Overhead. Oh, let me guess. Oh, these are getting tougher. How do I do a cross strike? That sounds good. Choice chamber? Let me have a look at choice chamber. Okay, it's like a voting sort of auto battle type thing. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Hmm. Interesting. Ready or not? Perfect photo. We Love it. To hold on to this one. Sounds like you're having fun. Resume. Ready I'm gonna go get an ice cream. I'll be right back. Let's hit it.
Hollow Knight sequel, yep. Yeah. Silk Song, no announcement at E3 this year. That was yesterday, Kenai, or the day before. Ms. Queeb mentioned it. No, talking about, um, not, not Silk Song about air frying a pizza. Oil for air Oil for air frying is nothing. Now this is what I'm talking about. Kids got it bad. There are worse vices, I suppose. Excuse me. We'd like to ride the chocobos. The chocobos, huh? I hate to break this to y'all, but we can't permit our birds to leave the post. Not while Deadeye's still about. He's an uncommonly ferocious behemoth that's taken to prowling these parts of late. His scent makes our birds nervous. And to prevent accidents and tragedies, we have no choice but to suspend rentals. But hold on now. Ain't you lads the hunters that have been making a mark? You reckon you could handle the likes of dead eye? If you could bring the beast down, do we have a choice? A reward in it for you. But knowing the danger, I wouldn't blame you for saying no. I might actually move my camera over so you can read the text there a little bit. Have a look. Howdy. Man, I need to earn money. Like, lots and lots of money. Or earn and not spend, which is probably the smarter thing. <gasps> a Final Fantasy X album? Fine, I guess. I'll take it. Cactor statuette. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Right, let's get to work. Uh, hold up. Don't the chocobos eat this stuff? It's also suitable for human consumption. I'll leave the consuming to others. Right, humans. rent a bird currently unavailable. Let's check the outpost real quick. Must be below. Hmm. Oh. Weapons for sale. You want weapons? We got lots of them. Oh, 
Calamity, 53. Pleasure doing business. Kite shield. And that's all my money gone. See you later. Done for the day. Take a look at our where. Hey, come again. It's my uh, five minutes. All right. Oh, we got so many quests. Friends of a feather. There we go. Wait, that's not it. Gotta be that. Timed quest in chapter three. Are we in chapter three? Oh, we can actually get good shit here. <gasps> Hundred grand. Or slack tour. Uh, okay. So what'll it be today? Y'all still keeping on, keeping on? About some Gisol chips for the road. Gisol, not Geishel. I'd love to buy it. I'm broke. Reckon I could ask for your help? Interesting choice. Oh, Behemoth Undertaking? Is that the one? Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Best of luck to you. Get her done. Y'all be careful out there. Let's say that. Hurry it up, Pronto! There in a jiffy! Mm -hmm. The mechanic Something's is, amiss. uh, Come on. very southern as well. I remember this quest. Oh, my God. 
Stop bitching, start killing. I'll say I'm amazed. Nothing to it. I'm guessing my armor hasn't powered up yet. It doesn't look like a Final Fantasy game. It, it genuinely doesn't feel like one either. Zephronaut, how are you, dude? Back to work today. It is Monday morning. Hold up. on the right. No eye, no horn. We'll stay in range until we can exploit its blind spot. Oh yeah, no. The, the suits I didn't do anything to, do, to get. They just they were in, in the DLC pack that I downloaded. Nothing special.
Mm, I'm not sure. This is the Royal Edition, so it came with all of the DLC except for the latest one. So there's a bunch of like cosmetic stuff. There's a bunch Exercise of um, stuff you start the game with. And then a few like side missions and stuff. We've got the beast in our sight, uh, but no plan of attack. The behemoth should be headed back to its lair where we can catch it fully off guard. Yeah, as long as we stay on guard ourselves. Patient Simulator 2020. There's no way Behemoth wouldn't just straight up sense we're there. Him a slow boy. That's one thing I noticed. Every time I try to interact with something, it jumps. Every time. I don't remember that being a problem the last time I played. Later, Ellie Dudes. Yeah, I again, I've only seen screenshots. It'll be uh, an All interesting playthrough. Work. It, looks, it looks beautiful. It's a rain world business. Why so much foge?
big enough. Rest easy, little one. It's almost like he's in a sanctuary. Like, I don't... I don't think we should have killed it. <laughs> the suits. It's the suits. We took zero damage instead. The suits took damage and they recharge every 24 real-time hours. Same. Same. I struggled against him when I fought him. Sun is going down. It is 6 p.m. Camping spot up here. Keep going straight. Huh? Oh, there's one. My poor suit is going to take such a beating here. Innocent creature, yeah, if it was innocent, then why are they wanted? Nice 
It is nice night time after all, bud. I'm dying of thirst here. I'm starving to death. God, they don't stop complaining, do they? Uh, that probably wasn't the nighttime hunt. Do I know where the other one is? Habitat. Daytime, all time, nighttime. Exorcism in the Nebula Wood. Well, let's track that and then head there. Not far. Hey, hey you want to watch where you're going? What's up, Hayden? How you doing, man? Some kind of necromancer or something. They remind me of the things from Dark Souls. Ah, uh, sorry, Demon Souls. Also, funnily enough, called Minds, Mind Flayers. Watch out! Work. That was a close one. Too close for comfort. That was all skill. Just being alive. Zero help from the suits. Didn't we, did we take our car or did we just walk? I think we might have just walked, yeah. That didn't sound good. What is that thing? I don't think I wanna know. Ah, 
Iron Giant. I want to ride my chocobo all huh? day. God, I would be shitting myself having to run a third of a mile in pitch black forest with horrible noises and shit around. Level 30 Iron Giant, yep. How are you, my friend? What's going on, man? <sighs> Sleepy. It is about that time. What program do I use for YouTube? You mean editing? What's up, Zarf? Uh, I use Final Cut on Mac. Most of my edits, if they're just like, uh, you know, maybe I'll, if it's a, if it's a Twitch highlight, I'll just cut out, um, like maybe drinking or going to the restroom, stuff like that. If it's so, they're usually real simple. Um, but if it's a, a dedicated video, they take me a lot longer. Well, that's not exactly true. You boys did it. You took down Deadeye. The area's safe again, and we owe it all to Deadeye. you. Deadeye. On behalf of the locals, I give you my heartfelt thanks. So about the chocobos, our birds are at your disposal. You Final cuts on Mac. Yes. Like. Yep. A lot of people use Premiere. I think there's Sony. Sony Vegas is free. Well, congrats. Actually, on Hayden motion. edits, um, and he uses. I think he uses Vegas, or something similar. Y'all are some pretty tough customers. Boy, you really saved our hides. I mean, saved your hides. That makes no sense. <laughs> Come on, Noct. Let's go for a ride. Let's do it in the morning, hey? I still got to purchase uh. tickets. Your entire business was shut down because of one enemy that I happened to kill. Dick. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? Oh, love the lighting. You see this, Noct? What about it? Well, howdy. Feed your chocobo greens at camp to provide temporary status boosts. 
Temporarily boosts bird stamina. Gliding ability. Pleasure doing business with you. So what'll it be today? Grab some grub before you go? My birds have all got their feathers ruffled. Best of luck to you. Yeah, you'll never catch me in a forest at, at night, that's for sure. Try the house special. That smoothie does look pretty damn good, huh? Wow, a plate of chips. Sure, hold on a sec. Oh yeah, here it comes. Delightful. Looks amazing. How about some geese salt chips for the road? Can do. Hope y'all came hungry. Bon appetit. Damn, that does look good. Try the house special. Sure, hold on a sec. Oh yeah, here it comes. Y'all come back soon. All right, let's rest then. Could crash right here. That I'll have you know that plate of chick chips took uh, took a long time pre to prepare. Hand cut those potatoes. To hold on to this one. Sup? Sup? Hey, howdy there. Say, you butters with the kid who's got the fancy camera? Fancy camera? Oh, right. Yeah. Nice. What do you say to taking a picture for me? Of what? A wild chocobo. Her little thing lives around these parts. But I ain't seen her for a while now. Starting to get worried. Okay. We'll check it out. That's mighty kind of you, friend. I got my hands full looking after my own little ones. Appreciate the help. Photograph a wild chocobo. Field whistle. Pay to rent one, then whistle for your bird at any time. Summon your cho chocobo from the overworld. Rental chocobos return to the post when the period expires. If the period end mid ride, the chocobo will leave after you dismount. Living, breathing birds with minds of their own. If your chocobo refuses to proceed, try hopping off and walking instead. Deep fried Twinkies sounds fucking amazing. Easy now. That's a great model. It looks really good. Um, isn't there races here? Maybe not yet. Again. 
Hey! Hey, Noct! What were you guys talking about? Nothing much. He just wants a photo of a chocobo. <gasps> Dude, I'm on it. You made his day. A wild chocobo. I hope we find it soon. Deep fried ice cream? Oh my god, hell yes. Right behind you. Yep, as Hayden just said. Top tier. I dig mayonnaise. The more the merrier in my opinion. Current bounty only comes out at night. Ah, oh, bummer, for real. Time is it? Eight o'clock in the morning. Shit. Um, we did walk past a let me grab my bird, I guess. Yeah. There's a camp nearby. We might be able to speed up time. I wonder if you can just wait. Nah, it doesn't look like it, huh? I haven't gotten all the AP stuff, I got the travel one. That's all I've gotten so far. I should be investing in that first, I guess. Probably makes a pretty big difference. Wait, where's my bird?
Gam Gam. Is that grandmother? Or another name for like uh, your granddad's partner. If not blood related. There you are. Let's go. Thanks for the ride. Ah, shit. Control scheme is so weird in this. I wish you could remap with custom buttons. Your chocobo will occasionally trot in to assist Noctis in battle. Learn dash to chocobo. Whilst mid flight, mid fight, and your trusty steed might help you flee. Wait, you can fight on these things? It's weird. Oh, I could have sworn there was a. Uh... Well, wouldn't, wouldn't the smart move, you know, for new players alike, be specifically to customize the buttons so that they could feel comfortable with it straight away? It's currently 10 a.m. No, we need to camp somewhere. Come on. There. Ah. Come on, burps. Where the hell'd you go? Wait, I can call them somehow. Uh. Ah, not the time for horseplay. <laughs> My hand slipped. Is this your idea of a joke? Sadly, no one's laughing. Okay, we have a third and first person view. Wait, there's a camp right there. Left. This way. I don't know where this stupid bird is, I don't care. Bird died. 
Oh, the rental guy. I wonder. I hope we had insurance. It's like, oh, about that. Yeah. No use hanging around. Ah, uh, awkward. Do you guys like Coleman camping gear? Oh, you don't get to see the camping gear. We literally just shifted time. Well, that's cool. I'll show you when we get back. Wait until nightfall, okay. I mean, it's 7 p.m. Hey Zen, how are you man? Good to see you. Looks pretty fucking night to me. Could use a break. We have walked a good while. Maybe I have to leave the area and then, yeah, that'll be it. Oh, we found a freaking dungeon here too? It's not a dungeon, it's a something. Probably need a key to get in like the other one. Hopefully not though, it'd be nice to... Yeah, I get it. Trust me, I get it. I just need to leave the ring and then come back. Stay alert. Wait. No, nope, that would be it. Oh, I'm doing next to no damage. Uh, I need magic. Thunderbomb. Getting the second shot today, that's dope. And yes, I'm getting uh, plenty of rest. Of course. 
Was that perfect or what? That was that. perfect. All right, let's see if we can find the entrance to this cave or whatever. I had, uh, today I had six hours sleep, I think, ish, yeah. It wasn't too bad. How do I get up there? Gotta go all the way around? Yeah, maybe. Look at these giant stone things here. Aliens. That's a mountain. How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? A bird could probably fly up. Stupid bird. Oh, come on. You and I both know you don't need a fence there. Ah, shit. Ready for this? On 50 hits. Yes. Sixty hits. Seventy hits. It's gotta be worth something though. to wrap that up more quickly okay so how do I get there this entire zone is surrounded or just there's the fence we go up around this this is what I was Looking to test. Okay, we still need on the other side of this, though. I'm not fighting another one of them. Say your prayers. it what's what i've come up with a new recipe well i could taste test for you yeah that goes all the way Nine hundred and fifty feet to the next. Oh no, that's the hand in. Never mind. Come on. 
It's almost like they designed it to be walled off for some reason. Like there's something really important there. Hey, Lation. Yeah, I figured. Um, which is fine. I'd like a bit more feedback. Like, just one of the characters going, Ah, oh, man, that looks really high. That was some skillful there. That, 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 that was nice. Uh, Lation, what about the second uh, crypt we found, or tomb rather? Uh, what's the story with that? There's a like a locked, sealed door, like like a. It's got seals on it, or or some kind of rune pattern on it. How do I get in there? I want that good shit. Finger climb it. Oh, hold up, hold up. Fuck you. I'm I'm determined now. I am invested. It is midnight. Needs all royal weapons first? Oh, Jesus. When I was in QA, we used to do this shit all day. Just bumping up against geometry, looking for shit. Literally all day. We'd work 12 hours. Um, but hey, pizza party. So... And overtime. Overtime... God, they, they took so much advantage of us, and our team worked their asses off. We've gone from there <laughs> to here. We're about to hit the road. And we might be able to maybe... I bet you the fence runs all the way along here too. Gotta be a way in. That looks interesting right there. That little outcropping. I told you, I'm invested now. Couch with a book as a mouse pad. Uh, we were not granted such luxuries. We had cubicles. We were not allowed to have our phones on us. Industry secrets, you know? Archeress, we, we might make the goal.
They really want to keep us out of there, huh? I, RimWorld's one of those games that I would love... Love to love, but... Um, it stresses me out too much when there's too much going on. I love the first couple of hours. Selecting a location. Fighting off a few bad guys. Building shit, and then... But when multiple things are going wrong and you have to fix them, that's when I get kind of, uh, I don't know what the name of the word is, but it affects, it affects me. Yep, Steineken, I'm the same. Oh, what if we ride the pipes? Hmm. We'll see if they go up and over. Looks like a quarry or something, doesn't it? Where's the rest of my boys? Did I just leave them behind? Interestingly, when Noct is by himself, he doesn't complain at all. Where are we keeping the torch? Oh yeah. Um, a nice peaceful walk though. Gee, they really want to keep us out of here, huh? Let's go check out that barn in the meantime. Seemingly no way in. Okay. When video games really feel like video games. It's a mountain on top of the hills, or the, the bluff rather. It's a 
Tiny mountain. We're about halfway. We're gonna get it. We're gonna do it. Shame I don't get experience from running. Oh, oh, What's this. something so did I <gasps> we can get in keep your distance or die vicious varmints and dangerous demons yeah we might not make it out the voice come from inside there Oh, I'm going for it. I kind of need my crew with me. Hopefully they'll spawn in when I... Alright. Let's hit it. W what does that mean? This will make a fine paint. Well, I heard them. They're in here somewhere. This is the place Cindy mentioned, right? Should be. Let's start looking. Obtain the wax. Wait, I'm supposed to be here? It's fucking lame. A morsel of meat will be your treat, but the taste of victory lies further ahead. Seek where wheels stop in order to keep rolling. Where man harvests the blood of the earth. I think my crew definitely should be with me here. Um, I can't save. Into it. Yeah, the uh, presence of level 7 enemies tells me that perhaps we should have come here a little bit earlier. This is it. it looks pretty old. It's not old. It's Arrowax. Ring a bell? Not a one. Unsurprising, given it's three decades old. This stuff's older than we are. Yeah, I don't know why they're not with me, but that's fine. Still gonna go through. Wanna see what's on the other side. Gotta get to that uh, red tomb thing. Notice how everybody's getting experience, even though, even though they're not with me. I'm not bitter. Fine. I don't need their help. Wait. So we cut in here. And it's, it's bumping me straight back out. 
Oh, come on. That ain't right, man. Fuck you. Camping spot then. Am I just going to be camping by myself? We're here. Sleeping out under the stars tonight. 